Now there might be a bit of space forward pop. Oh, oh Mills, what a strange pass to play. And it could be the goal, and it does. By Martin O'Neill. Away, Woodcock back to Robertson. Looking to get it onto that favoured right foot. Barrett, now with, right in there. Oh, it's given. The referee looked at the linesman for a moment, pointing back to the centre. Ipswich don't like it, but... Now winning this free kick. O'Neill and Peter Wood, in fact, the uh, scorers. Robertson chipping it in there towards with and Larry Lloyd has put it in for number three. Well, in a matter of 50 seconds at the start of the second half, Forrest now surely have put the game beyond the reach of Ipswich. Robertson on the far side also available. There's the cross coming in, too high for Anderson, there's O'Neill. Number four. Ipswich were on their backs. Well played straight to uh, John Robertson by the Ipswich defence. And a goal! Of Ipswich's making. But it's a beautiful shot by John Robertson. Yeah, with the touch, still. Miller using Hayes. And Richie. Oh, what a magnificent goal from Andy Richie. Well, they say that he's at his most dangerous when he's at his quietest, but we haven't seen much of him. by Benetti from Lyons, mistake by Walker, the shot by King, Andy King. Very young again, played it into trouble there, and Parry sending Eddie Gray on his way. Hawley and Arthur Graham are up, and Curry made a beautiful overlap. Oh, and what a beautiful goal by Tony Curry. Amazing goal with seven minutes gone. Well, and Arsenal with a chance to get back to 1 1, which is what they are. Paul Hart, oh, he's got caught in possession there. Here are Arsenal marauding away again with McDonald and Brady linking up well. Stapleton's up there. McDonald's looking for it too. Oh, what a goal! Again, Tony Curry, that little bit of acceleration, the cross coming in low. Cherry with a shot. Oh, yes. 2 2. Colin Franks has come up. Stainrod jumping, and it's gone in from Simon Stainrod. So the perfect start. And there's the delight of the supporters who've come to see things happen at Bramall Lane this season. Mayo turning past Tony Kenworthy and what a magnificent strike at goal from Joe Mayo that has really brought Orient back into this. Mayo, who checks away from his marker so well and then sets things up like that. To Hewton on to Chidozi, and now Kitchen. And looking 
to turn his man, but being forced away. Finding Hewton. Now Kitchen! It's 2-1, and Peter Kitchen's on his way again. And they'll have enjoyed that particularly. Neighbour, Peter's coming to the near post, over his head. And flicked him with by Reeves. Williams with the cross. Bond's clearance, another great one. Baker can't control it. Chivers has got time. Neighbours there, and a space down that right. Ryan, this is the sort of position he loves. With Reeves coming in towards the near post. But Walden's there first. And now it's Ryan. A brilliant break, but it all hinged on a mistake by Malcolm Waldron, the Southampton defender. Out there is Neighbour now, pickering with him. Neighbour's cross. There's Chivers. It's looking really good. Martin Chivers returned from the wilderness of Switzerland. Touch number three, past goalkeeper Peter Wells. His first for Norwich City. Williams. The rebound goes back to Williams and on to Curran. There's uh, Hebbard here. Boyer just in front of him. Curran. Boyer found with a bit of room. Powell's there. And Sullivan. But Google. They got the ball away. It was an awkward one. But McDougall makes them pay and improves the scoreline as far as Southampton's concerned with six and a half minutes to go. And from Seaham, there was already a true Sunderland hero in the making, Gary Rowe, a sharp, quick, natural goal scorer who became an all-time crowd favourite. McDermott. Reese coming short, Booth following him, so soon as takes the gap behind the defence. And gets in! All to do with organisation, all to do with movement off the ball. Shannon, and they beat the offside trap. This is power, this is kids. Oh, they must surely, and they do. Liverpool going to protest to the linesman as Kidd takes the applause. His third goal of the season. He's got all three for City at the moment. Highway. McDermott. Five forward on the attack. That's a fine ball. Finds McDermott. Here is Ray Kennedy. It's so simple. So Liverpool back in front after 34 minutes. Highway, there's the player into the gap, it's McDermott yet again. Douglas, soon is 3 1. His second. is onside and can make it four. Oh, Sullivan, great favour here with the fans. Oh, Ward found some good space there, and he's got past Ashurst, and that's good finishing. Well, Peter Ward warned Sunderland once, and the second time he made them pay. Brighton will break away, there's an injured player lying in the Sunderland half, he's going to put them on side. Oh, he has. That's rather unfortunate, it's Ward who's away. What a tremendous shot! And Steve Wicks was taking no chances with that. Now, Adidas. 
Villa. Oh, good play by Villa. Ardiles. Oh, a lovely combination here. And it's wrong for a goal. Duncan, the man who will be credited with it. The work undeniably, though, of the two Argentinians. And Spurs are in the lead. And the crowd are chanting Argentina, as you could probably hear, well aware of the Spurs fans that that is a major contribution by these two Argentinians who cost between them £700,000. It's into the net and put there by Ken Swain. What a reply by Chelsea. 1-1. Chelsea who have a home defeat against Everton and a victory at Wolverhampton so far to their credit this season. Villa now for Tottenham to Ardiles. All played on beautifully by Ardiles for Villa. Now can he turn and do something about it? Armstrong with a shot! And again the Argentinians have made it. And Jerry Armstrong will finish it off on the stroke of half-time. Langley having a tussle with Lacey. Wilkins again, look at that beautiful ball. Played first time there for Locke. Here he is again. Played in first time this time for Hay. And Locke again, curling in a good one to Swain once more, and that's another goal. 2-2. Two -two. Within two minutes of the start of the second half, Chelsea have got back on terms. And I think Spurs will look around themselves and say that was a sloppy one to give away. Christie up and scores! Trevor Christie! First goal that the Leicester fans have had to cheer for their side here this season. Davis. Unlucky, and a break here for Bailey. Webb, the man, going with him. Can Bailey do it? Yes, he has! Alan Bailey! 1-1, a totally deserved goal for Cambridge United. This is Jeffries. Shaw sprinting forward to the edge of the box. Trying hard to get it across. The rock run for McDonald. Doesn't control it. Donald Park will score. Donald Park puts Hearts one up. Nine minutes. Disaster for the Hibs defence and joy for the Hearts fans. So a free kick to Hibs. O'Brien will take it. And we're moving up to the 90th minute of an extraordinary match. It's a goal! Ali McLeod scores! He suddenly said, Jim Pearson has requested a thunderbolt from Martin Buchan. And I can remember the words now, and it underlined the letter on the, on the screen. It said, a desperately needed late equaliser against Everton. Good try! Oh! Martin Buchan! Martin Buchan came forward, and it probably the only time he swung. And Nickel hurt, but play continuing, and here's Blissett. Jocelyn is up, so is Jenkins. And it's turned in by Jocelyn. It's hit very hard. Over to him! Well, there were two defenders in front of the goalkeeper. But it's chilling him on the up and up at the moment. And two went for one, and here's Westwood! Here's Downs. Oh, and he dumped that and bless it, put it in.
Dirk again. Jocelyn! They found the finish now. Ray Kennedy. Case. Miss hit, but it's found Dog Leash and he turns and scores! in by Highway and the chest down by Perriman dropped nicely for Delgleish now Kennedy and soon as can he turn on it pulled it back for Case Delgleish Dermott. Kennedy at the far post, and in it goes. Not sure who's claiming that, I think it may have been an own goal. Off Lacey. Johnson on for McDermott. Ray Kennedy in the middle, the ball with Dalglish, and now Johnson, Sunis, Dalglish. Did well to turn on the shot, Johnson, 4-0. Peter Taylor with just Velia to support him at the moment. And Case robbed him as clean as a whistle. And now his dog leash put away by Ray Kennedy. Dog leash for Johnson, number five. line, knows that he must keep still, will Neil put it in the same place again? No, he doesn't. So that now is 6-0, and this is becoming a rut. Johnson, and Johnson the ball into acres of empty space for Highway. And Highway, a brilliant crossback. <laughs> McDermott it was who finished it. And what a classic goal. Tottenham in remnants. Calling for one to go straight down the middle, he doesn't get it, only goes to Kelly, number two. Cassidy to Connolly. That is a clever one, I want to get the ball marks to Peter Weir. Right, the free kick taken by Newcastle. The comedy over, Hibbit putting it across. And a goal! Scored by McGee. Actually, they were hooping it away. Oh, and now a chance for win. He scored it. And that's really set the seal on it. Peter with. Now, Ronnie Glavin can hit them with great strength. And Wilson's in. There's a goal. McCannon scores for Celtic. Doyle. Kluski's there. Could be danger for Rangers if he gets that in the right way. It's another one. I don't think anybody else touched it. Here's Gordon Smith. Jackson just touching that. Laid it off, and it's a goal. Derek Farley. Did the right thing, Joe Craig, with Poseidon. Plays 
still going on, Craig with it. Well, that's a good ball, and it's a double. The atmosphere is, there's still an atmosphere in Scotland, don't get me wrong, I say the Rangers game, but there's a complete different atmosphere in the cosmos, because it's more friendly, I would say. Anderson to Burns again. Really right on top of his game tonight. Oh, yeah. Little flick on. Woodcock and Beth. Bethels has got it. His first ever goal for Nottingham Forest. And it had to be in the European Cup. 1 nothing. Nort Nord of Anfield. And that Nort Nord of 1 nothing to Forest in the League Cup final as Bertels cuts through on his own. The pace and confidence to do it. Not a bad looking cross. Woodcock. And a superb goal from Barrett. That was as good as Forrest are likely to get all season. And the boy Berkowitz was involved in it. And got Paisley. Paisley with him play on. This is Cannell. Out to Murray. Duncan stays put this time as Murray goes down the wing. Cutting infield. A nice sideways flick. McLeod is onside and there's a great chance and a goal. Higgins scores from McLeod, and that's the breakthrough Hibbs wanted. Well intercepted by Lundqvist, but Murray gets it back, and Duncan's on the outside. Duncan throwing it in left-footed, Higgins trying to turn it down to Temperley. Temperley with a chance and a goal! Willie Temperley scores his first goal for the big team, and it comes at just the right time for Hibbs. Anderson drives it in, McDonald drops it, and Olsen will score. And that is a dramatic moment and a sensation. The big fellow I mentioned, Per Olsen, 18 minutes gone in the second half. And Norcopping, who've always been dangerous, who have never given up. Now the break is on again. This is Olsen, who's out in front this time. What a chance for 2-2, and it must be a goal. Superb from Svensson. Corner to Hibbs, and there's plenty of time for a shot, but nobody picking up Duncan for that one. Good chance here. Headed in, it hits the, hits the yes, it's there. Higgins will get the credit. 3-2 is the score, it just got in and no more, but it will count just the same. Barring some problems here, they had so many men forward. Oh, and that went straight through the keeper. Corner coming with 20 minutes left, just a quick check of the wind. Oh, and it was made to count. Peter Isto rushing to congratulate Stan Bowles. Finger up to the wind, clearly of importance. Watson. Barnes losing touch there. They've pushed him onto that uh, far touch line. Against Ron Harris. Onside, Mike Shannon. Only a fraction, but he was. Is it the opening goal? It is. And Shannon has scored it for Manchester City. Well, a blow there for Chelsea. Shannon, a nice header now for Futcher, and the second goal for Manchester City. And again, Chelsea caught out badly in defence. And really, that was the old one too. Calling Langley towards him, and just look how Paul Futcher was right there with him as well. And that Chelsea move is broken up with amazing ease. Shannon, Hartford, what a lovely move again to Ron Futcher, and that's number three. What a beautiful City move. And Chelsea were destroyed by that. 44 minutes gone, Chelsea three down. Barnes with the kick. A deeper one this time, but Eddie oh, it was a little too high for him. Hartford turning it back in again, a hat-trick for Ron Futcher. That's his third and City's fourth. Swain for Chelsea. And a header. And it's into the net. No. Yes, it crossed the line. And Barry Stanley will be credited with that one. Barely crossed the line.
crossed the line before it was hooked out. Wild now. Oh, and a gift of a ball. To Duncan. Yes! Oh, what quick thinking that was. John Duncan. Eight minutes gone. John Duncan celebrates his arrival here at Derby. What a killer goal. For real. Daly streaming through the middle. Carter down the right touchline now. Oh, he's done well. Good chip, Duncan. And squeezed in by Steve Powell. 2 nothing. Kelly Brown. Trick. And now Kelly. Kelly gets Buckley. Got the cross in, Willie Johnston. Regis. Oh, yes. Right on the button. His third goal of the season. Duncan helps it up. Statham is there. Oh, and a bad pass to Daly, who is going to score. Yes. 3 1. Well, West Bromwich Albion are wrapping up goals. Give track goals and giving them to Derby. Wild gave Duncan the first one. And here's now. This Carter for Derby. Uh, Duncan, but Brown beating. Uh, Robertson, rather. Truick. Regis turning it inside. Here's Cunningham. Yes! Oh, yes! 3-2, Lonnie Cunningham. Big, big open space in the middle of the park. The real test for Leeds in the middle of the field is, of course, how to cope without the creative talents of Tony Curry. And taken by Peter Taylor. Now a chance for Spurs to open it up. And beautifully taken. The referee just looking at cross to check with the linesman Stevenson beautiful skills the hand like handball by Lee there was nothing wrong with the tackle Harris for Hankin now Graham goal Arthur Graham for Lee Perryman turning inside Frank Gray back for Ardiles and a goal surely for Colin Lee crossing it to Robson it's a lovely ball Robson against Tucker Robson's cross and there's Buckley Ross over the top and McEwen can go for this he's not offside McEwen's got a lot of room can he beat Porter and here goes Tommy Robson. McEwen raises his arms in delight. I don't think that Tommy Robson will claim that one. Again, Cruz and Smith come up with Phillips on the near post. David Carlton right at the back. In comes Cruz, gets it. Oh, it's a fine header. McEwen going to the near post, up he goes, and it's Cruz with a nice bit of judgment. And Robson again, can he make this cross count? And here comes Doyle. Oh, that was a marvellous goal. Brooking, it's open, and there's a line goal by Keegan. Fine play, but the goalkeeper, I think, hardly saw. One's given a marking job on him so far. That was Watson, and that's Keegan, and that's two.
And this time the referee pointed to the spot. Very well tucked into the corner. Goalkeeper went the correct way. And she was... Oh, he's going on. He's got a good left leg. Here's Anderson! Brilliant goal! Oh, it's a brilliant goal! A goal scorer in form. Frank Anderson. He scored five times out of six games. And Mickey Mills has been pushed up into the box, which is good to see. Kicked by Fleming Nielsen. Barnes. Brooking. Keegan! And finally it goes in, and they appeal to the linesman, but Bob Latchford's goal will count. And I think the appeal was for handball. And here's Neil, back clearance by the keeper, and he fades to pay for it. Philip Neil with a really well struck shot. Ends the arguments. Simonson was noted to shake his head then. Pulled the Danes back, but all to no avail in the finish. But here's Runfell! <laughs> well, that gives him his sense, goal. For the officials directed by Jara, Opie debut the PSD. The match is played at the Prater de Vienne and Autriche, but 1 0 after 20 minutes of play, thanks to the goal of his libero. The leader of the last Coupe du Monde, Bruno PSD, is considered as the successor of Michael Bauer. all the way by Bell. Now, as Hinterwood got the angle, that was a good cross, and a fine goal by Swindlehurst. Oh, that was a beauty. Augustin. Oh, look at the space here for Brian Greenoff. Cottrell has put it in. And Manchester United are in the lead. So Willie Young up again. O'Leary at the near post. This is aimed towards Sammy Nelson and Willie Young. And it's Willie Young with the header. And it's Price who turns it in. 1-1. One, one. season for him and the equaliser for Arsenal. Right. There's a useful foot stuck out there by McCall. Here's Parkin. And McCall lets it go. Latchford. down Mickey Walsh with a shoulder charge off the ball and a penalty for Andy King. Two nil as Andy King scores his sixth goal of the season. Jim Williams looking after Tony Towers. But a corner. Big curl on it. Langley got up. Wex tries it. And poked in by Duncan McKenzie. 1-0 Chelsea. 
just over 14 and a half minutes gone. And Duncan McKenzie. Fist up, the victory sign, one nothing. Chip ball, aim for Gallagher, Wicks got there. Emmanuel, Fox, Lewington got a, just enough of it. It's not a bad ball for Emmanuel to Dylan. Far post, number nine, Don Gibbons, 1-1. One, one. Well, that pressure deserving of the goal. Telling the Italian defensive wall to get right back. Clayne with it and still not satisfied the referee. Rangers with a pre-planned move. There's Forsyth with it. Here's a good set for Smith. And there's a goal. After a six-week layoff due to bad weather in the winter of 1979, Cardiff, who seemed relegation-bound, turned their fortunes around to finish in ninth place. It was their highest position since 1971. Reeves was again among the scorers. On by Peters. Back by Reeves to Ryan. What a good shot! Intercepted by Hoadley. Oh, the centre half on a run. Three to his left as well, he slips. Still got the cross in, Reeves is there! A beautiful goal by Kevin Reeves. And here's Ryan. Neighbour. Good cross, Rob! And Watson doing a little bit of organising himself there. Wilkins with a long cross, Wicks coming in with a header! of bewilderment in that West Bromwich Albion defence really has to be seen to be believed and Chelsea get a breakthrough they must have dreamt about Wow Robertson it's Harris's header it only comes to Regis oh it's a chance for Regis here and he's made it Well, that was a beautiful bit of skill by Regis. Another corner for Albion. Again, Tony Brown with it, curling right in there. And it's into the back of the net. And it's John Wilde who's put it there. Lewington's after him now. And a foul on the West Bromwich Albion striker. Free kick already taken. Tony Brown is in there. That's another one, and it's the record. And that goal then by Tony Brown equals the West Bromwich Albion scoring record. 208 goals, and he shares it with Ronnie Allen. Mavert, good cross. Royal's got Richie behind him. It's a chance for Gal. And it's there. A beautifully worked goal with Jerry Gal getting his first goal of the season. Dobson. Oh, loses Hunter nicely. Latchford, a chance here. And that's a beautiful goal by Bob Latchford. That levels the score up after 11 minutes at 1-1. Hunter, and what a goal! Well, what a tremendous goal by Norman Hunter. And Everton showing their class the way they're having... A good share of this match, even though they're a man short. Dobson's cross, and that's a 
beautiful goal there. Bob Latchman scored it. It was Walsh's head that hit the post. And just as I was saying how well Everton were doing with ten men, they've underlined the point by drawing level. Callaghan lifts it off for a good cover job. Jimmy Cannon, a shot here for Irving. Good goal, Sammy Irving. Four minutes gone. Sammy Irving blasts Stoke into the lead. One nothing. He's being taken off for Palace once they can catch the eye of referee Trelford Mills. Elwes, the good ball for Murphy. This could be spectacular. Yes, it is! With the boys standing on the halfway line, calling him off the field for the substitution, Jerry Murphy has equalised. 23 minutes into the second half. That is, that is unbelievable. Couple takes the corner. McQueen is coming and meeting it. And somehow they've scrambled it away. And Jordan has scored. Mahoney. Oh, that's not reached Scraggs. And now Borough could be in trouble. Sunderland picking it up from Ricks and giving it back to him. Borough defenders chasing back. Arsenal getting a lot of men up though. And there's Bolford. And that's the winning goal with four minutes left. Pichillo on a run. And beating Matthews. Back for Moss. Defending by Sheffield United, but not there. Well, they seem to have got it away easily enough, and suddenly it came back for Moss again. Now Hampson trying to launch the counter-attack. Stainrod. Anderson! Yes! On the stroke of half-time. Duo about to meet in the other penalty area. Jordan, and it's in. McQueen smiles. Jordan gets the congratulations. Good head by Harrison. Alderston. Well, and Roach committed. McQueen. Feet were fairly high then, but McQueen got it out of harm's way. His downs. Presents! Oh, yes! Well, he had a far easier chance in the first half, and he goes to the Watford supporters. Pollard. Field, McQueen across, Jenkins has got Sturk there, he's got Booth inside, number four. Blissett coming in, and makes it! Second round running, he scored two. It's no more than what they deserve. Derek featured again in the 1978 competition when Rangers met St Mirren in the third round. But early in the match, Things didn't go quite as they expected. Only the single Rangers player as Ian Munro goes in. Now to Fitzpatrick. And Abercrombie and Bone and Fitzpatrick going in again. Oh, it's a great goal. Cooper shaping to take this. Jardin's there and for Scythe. Stabbers of side taking it, not so good that time. Rangers supporters packed up by that goal, and no wonder. They don't come more spectacular, Miller going through. Miller with a great chance to score. Jardin. 
Watson for Rangers. And that slam for Smith. Neatly judged. Now can he get the right chip? He does. Sit down. Derek Johnson. Spate. Clark again. That's a fair ball from Raoul to Entwistle. Here's Raoul again. Doherty's made a run to the far post if he can be found unmarked. Bolton, still Doherty wants it right across. Didn't come that far. Cody. Oh, Brown got away. Raoul, it's there. And Brown has made a present of that and Raoul is the scorer. These clearances from Nicky Johns, not sometimes giving his colleagues every chance. But here's the chance for Hansen, and he takes it well. Players coming forward in the centre, Anderson's made a good run, Anderson is there! Sabella. Oh, a good run by Anderson on this side. Look at that. That's beautifully done by Anderson. And that is a quite superb goal. Harwood. Done the simple thing on his debut and he's found Sabella. Two waiting in the centre. Oh, Sabella's gone round the back. Finiston! Finiston scores his first league goal for Sheffield United. But as he raises his arm, the crowd have gone to celebrate with Sabella because he went to them behind the goal and Sabella there. Now Elliot. Headed on by Doherty, and here's a chance for Bob Lee to get one back, and he has. The substitute scores for Sunderland. Cunningham. Good tackle by McAllister. And Huddle setting Peter Taylor away. And it's going in. But he was always in a position then when the shot had to be with his right foot. Organizing 90 minutes for the Brighton manager Alan Mullery, he leading forward and pointing there. He started uh, up next to his chairman in the director's box, but he couldn't stand that for long. He's down on the bench near the action. Trying to get a one-two, it might come for Hilaire, and it's a goal by Vince Hilaire. for Swindlehurst and it's number two by David Swindlehurst at the moment it's Elvis who is certainly not coming off playing the ball through beautifully for Nicky Chaladon played inside again and uh, Williams will know he's missed a chance there now Elvis and Hillary with about four minutes to go. And now the game really beyond the reach of Brighton, or is it? Here's Brian Horton, and he's made it 3-1. Look at a watch that says, well, I think it's probably too late. Brian for Reeves. Hansen in there strongly. Dalglish, a quick check to see whether he can control. He can, it's Johnson trying to return it to Case. And Dalglish, a back header. Can Bond get this? up against 
Highway beats him, and a dangerous cross is in. And it's straight in the back of the net from Steve Highway. Six minutes gone. A stunning goal there for Liverpool. Dalglish and Hoadley. Dalglish getting the better of him. Dalglish still there. It's a great shot. Now Highway. And it's in. Another one for Liverpool. Another one for Steve Highway. A brilliant bit of play. Bad kick by Kennedy, or by Clements. Soonest does well to get it out to Case. Neil going by him. Dalglish, there goes Case. Checked his stride beautifully. Here goes Alan Kennedy forward. He's dangerous. And Johnson with a chance to make it three. And there it is. Suddenly they were wide open again, and Liverpool punished them so severely. David Johnson making it 3-0 for Liverpool with 36 minutes only of this first half goal. But well, a free kick right on the edge of the area. Five in the wall. Here goes Case. It's in! And the wall looked quizzically at one another. He hit a shoulder and went in. It's 4-0. And Case gets his fourth of the season. put into the net and how badly they could have needed that one after the devastating start by highway in the first half. Off to McLeod. Bobby Hutchins. Marinello. Patrick Group. Wilson missing it, clinging, clinging scores. Well, what a goal that was. Touched in by Maranello. Marlock scores. Wilson Hebb's allowing Wilson to get the ball rather meekly there here's Campbell though touch to Higgins, back to Campbell again the ball bouncing back and forth McLeod to Callaghan Ray beautiful shot by Ray well, that was quite a spectacular goal, touch Justification in turning to the crowd to accept the hero's welcome. Fine first time ball by Gregory. Gray to Young. Scott against Scott. And Young wins it. Gregory! Buddy Roach caught coming forward. Green, McElroy! <laughs> it's 
Sammy McElroy sends the United following into a jig of delight. for him and what a way to break a record Tony Brown's 209th so too here as Brendan Batson Johnston free to hit with a cross Regis, and was it deflected, but it's in. Cyril Regis' is shot. Rescue by Frank Gray. And Albion still have plenty of men forward to take advantage of it. Cunningham. Johnston. Regis. And that secures the points from Cyril Regis. The referee didn't give a foul, but Sooners gave a look. <laughs> Neil. Intercepted by Buckley. Ray Kennedy. Doug Leash. Johnson. Possibilities here. Sooners. Defence closed. The ball must try another way. Highway. As soon as Dalglish, Johnson. It was really a question of which of them was going to put it in in the end. There's nobody there for Derby. Face again. This time the long diagonal ball towards Ray Kennedy's head. By Johnson. Dalglish has got round his man now. Little chip. That was one that had Kenny Dalglish written all over it. Want to play back to Alan Kennedy. And Phil Thompson, little chip back, head over by McCaffrey, it's only come out to Sunis, his shot was blocked, this is highway, Doug Leash calling for it, and in on it fast, 4-0, Ray Kennedy. Johnson, beautiful ball, and a great break by Hansen. Will he score? He set it up for Dalglish. 5-0. What a marvellous goal. What a beautiful goal. Uh, Clark rather uh, poking it much too hard on Walker. And it's a great goal by Wendy. Wendy right for that goal, a critically fighting ball. Gary Rowell, Doherty making ground on the right. Here's Doherty. him particularly well as do all Wales here's Woodcock got in behind Ike 
Good chip. Goal, surely. Yes, McGovern. one nothing. John McGovern. Less than ten minutes gone, and there's a shocker for you. Grin to some of the Forest substitutes. Clark. Well, let's Robertson take over. I coming out. Now's the time for them to run, and Clark is all right. They beat the offside trap. Now, a roll across the box, and it's got to be two. Burkles. Yes, indeed, he kept his cool so beautifully then. Two nothing. Gary Burtles surely has wrapped this one up with about five. And that's unnerving for Peter Schultz. Two nothing to score at the moment. Two nothing to Forrest. As Tassos prepares to get AK back into the game, and he's just made it. Only just a fiercely struck shot. FA Cup holders Ipswich, the visitors here. McGovern. Nicely for O'Neill. Oh, Martin O'Neill. So, McGee and Dobson at that near post. Now, the Rangers pull something back here. Bowles with the corner. And he's there. It's Gillard who they claim have got it. And it's 1-1. One, one. Good throw, setting Mortimer loose. Gray and Little. And Gray. Here comes Gray with the first goal. Yes, Andy Gray. What a breakout that was. For Aston Villa, seven minutes, almost eight minutes gone. Aston Villa won. Birmingham nothing. It's been a hard battle up front for Phil Walker. And he's so often been outnumbered. Downs, Blissett to his right. And here's Blissett. Can he wrap it up? And it's gone! A dream debut for Derek O'Connor. Robertson trying desperately to keep that in play. He only succeeds in teeing it up for Dom Sullivan. Right foot cross. Looking for Harper. Brown on his back. Yes, penalty kick. Shot. What a goal. A typical Dennis McQuaid goal. Heureusement pour les Écossais, suite à cette déviation d'Andy Gray, 
Kelly Daglish marque son deuxième but et égalise donc pour l'Écosse. Nous retrouvons Daglish qui passe à Sarnes pour Grill. Grill qui est fauché. Un pénalty indiscutable et pour une fois indiscuté. Un pénalty qui va être tiré et réussi par le capitaine de l'Écosse, Archie Gemil. Score final, Écosse 3, Norvège 2. Cinquante troisième minute, Christensen en possession du ballon. Il donne à son arrière gauche sur ce centre. Reprise, Edin Janssen, Pat Jennings est battu. Un but à zéro pour le Danemark. Donc grâce à ce but de Janssen, Janssen qui est également l'avant-centre du Real de Madrid. Très dangereux. Une tête et finalement un but de Trevor Anderson qui était entré quelques minutes auparavant. Vous voyez, il porte le numéro 16. Un but partout. Toujours l'Irlande à l'attaque. Sur ce centre, tête de Derek Anderson. Irlande du Nord, Van Danemark, 2 buts à 1. Il ouvre la marque par McGraw. Pays de Galles, Malte, c'était le premier match du groupe 8. Encore un corner. Encore un but gallois. Cette fois, c'est un but de l'avant-centre John Edwards. Tiens, un corner, c'est original. John Edwards est encore bien placé sur cette action. Le Pays de Galles mène 3 buts à 0 à la mi-temps. McGraw, prise avec un défenseur de Malte, réussit à centrer. But d'Edwards, 4 à 0. Toujours le Pays de Galles. Toujours Edwards, c'est son quatrième but. Et c'est le cinquième pour son équipe. Et ce n'est pas fini. But de Thomas, 6 à 0. James, puis Thomas, revoilà Robbie James, Pays de Galles, par Malte, 7 buts à 0. Thomas. Pajic. Again, plenty of blue shirts forward here. Thomas. Three waiting on the far post. Dobson is in there. It's going to fall for Andy King. Oh, yes, he's got it. Andy King has scored. And Everton have taken the lead. With a typical King goal. And Goodison Park goes absolutely mad. Corey kept it in. It's Grimes, beaten by Brazier. Hatching in the way, Jimmy Greenhoff. Well, space for the shot. Reflected 1-0. And that's the way it goes when you're struggling. 22 minutes gone. Houston. Jordan, a green on is free. What a goal. McElroy to Jimmy Greenhoff, not laid properly. Park in. Hibbert. Daly. Good run by Hibbert. It's in 2-1. And the luck has turned slightly for Wolves. Nearly a minute now of injury time played in the first half. Good turn by McElroy. A call in the way. Now Brian Greenhoff. 3-1. McElroy and Jordan. No, it was offside. No, the flag stayed down. And there's a near riot going on.
Rafferty, now number 11, Daly. What a goal, a magnificent goal. And the drama just goes on and on. Curry, Hankins gone to the far post. Eddie Gray is in there too, and Hawley. Now John Hawley, trying to set it up for himself. And put in by Brian Flint. Going in, and Paul Hart. Curry takes it quickly, and Derby again are slow to react. Hawley. Graham's cross, a free header for Hart. In the end, unselfishly knocked it back. Now Eddie Gray, now Hankin, and the goal. Hart going for it. Picks up Matthews, needs to go again. Calvert, shipping ball, and Anderson has equalised. Super goal, Peter Anderson, 1-1. Just over 21 minutes of the second half. Delighted Sheffield United fans, as well they might. I hit it. He timed that beautifully. And after nine minutes, Peter Wynn has scored. And again in return, Arch linking up beautifully. Busby looking for the shot. It's a great goal. Midway through the second half, there's Gibson. Showed a lot of good skill today, Gibson. As well as Bannon, number eight on the ball now. And coming up through Busby. Wood action. Oh, the second goal for Busby. Right across. Oh, and it's got in. And he made up for it. Needham. This is Bowie up. <laughs> thought he'd got it, but he hadn't. Here's Robertson. Virgil's near post, Woodcock far. There goes Woodcock! 2-0 to Forrest, and Woodcock says thanks for the cross, and thanks for the goal. Anderson allowed to go. And again, and Matt Ross away this time. Bajovic waiting for the cross. Far post, header by him, and they get one back. Bajovic the scorer, the tall man there, who got a hat trick for Yugoslavia. Ravusis giving him an encouraging pat on the shoulder. Here's Gemmel. Needham's up there again. Oh, and he got there too, and Bertel's got there. Gary Bertels, thanks David Needham for the pass. Bertels the scorer. On by Gary Bertels there. Well, Bertels getting in again. Near post header. That's his second goal. Playing, of course, in one of the most difficult games I've ever had to face. Ali McDonald trying to go there as number eight. Pushes it way out there. Willie Janssen. They're looking very dangerous. Harry on a goal. Harry looks it. Red by for side. Now Smith a Watson. There's Smith. McDonald to Gordon Smith. Back with him is Janssen. It's slack. There's McDonald. Here's Tommy McLean. Needs to kill it quickly. There's Alec McDonald. And he scores. What a superb goal by McDonald. And try. Derek 
Johnson, superb in the air that time. McDonald, a bit too hasty that time. Stevens. Grants. Don't for sign. Can't get the shot in. He's been the man who's been burrowing his way into this defense. For Scythe up this time. Janssen's there. Now to Smith. It's a superb pass to Tommy McLean. He has Bobby Russell inside. Russell going through a brilliant run by Russell. He needs it to be done it. Oh, great goal by Russell. Here's John Walk. Didn't quite fall for him. Oh, that's a bad header out. Torbert, Muren, but Arsenal messing. Woods giving them the width. Can he get to the byline? Torbert and Merina. Arsenal appealing for offside. But it seems to me that Merina came from some distance. Ricks. Stapleton's gone right to the penalty spot. Nelson to cross. Here is Stapleton. Ah, oh, it's a fine goal. Well, they lost him completely. Beautifully hit cross. Sammy Nelson on his favoured left. And hit a beauty. Frank Stapleton there in the centre of the picture. Stapleton. Oh, yes! Just, just, just in the corner. Scraped in inside the post. Nelson. Oh, that's a bit short. And Cooper recovering. Still Sunderland. And turned in by Nelson. What a disaster that for him for it's three minutes from half time. Young, Sunderland, Stapleton. And Rice up in the box as well. There's Young at the back. Stapleton! That's his hat trick. Beautifully curled on the near post by Brady. And Stapleton scores. The first hat-trick of his career at Highbury in the first team. Truick. Oh, good effort, John Truick. What a good goal. things at the other end of the field. Lampard. Bonds. Brooking now. Coleman, who's done a good marking job on him since he took over from Cameron. But that's a cross that Brooking got in well towards David Cross, got it down, and it's going as far as Gibbonsworth, and that's another goal. West Ham go back into the lead. Devonshire bringing it away again. A change of direction. Brooking. What a ball. 
for Holland with Robson, Cross and Kerbishley waiting in the middle. Now can they finish this one off? Cross has done it! Cuddling it low, McQuaid turning and scoring! Dennis McQuaid within a minute of the restart of the second half has made it his no Hearts 1. Oh, a chance here for O'Connor, number two. Smith cutting it across, out by Brown. Only as far as Stewart, the Hearts defence coming out in the line, not offside, and Ray scores. Ray has... Turned on by Bell and by Kidd. Brian Kidd, the scorer. It's been typified in these last few seconds. First one side building, making the odd mistake, and then the other side breaking quickly. In this case, Dennis Tewart. Three players joining him. Oh, it's going to come out to Owen. Oh, what a good goal by Gary Owen. Gowling was up there again, and it was flipped on. Walsh got in there. Walsh got in and got the final touch. A very nicely worked goal for Bolton. Getting it back from Royal. Good play by John Bain. Here's Sweeney. Mabbott. Ritchie goes in, and it's there. Tom Ritchie gets the touch and gets the goal. Bristol City draw level. Bristol have still got this scent of attack. They've been going forward nearly the whole match. Ritchie, Gow, Royal on the far post pulling away. There he is. And yes, deflection. But Royal will claim it. 2-1 and that is Joe Royal's first goal of the season. No wonder they're so pleased. And so is he. Worthington finds Reed. Oh, look at this. Rich is away here. Took it wide and Walsh did well, but it's still Richie. Royal! Oh, look at that. Two in two minutes for Joe Royal. Ray Kennedy, and that's superbly struck. 
penalty, Ray Kennedy, in that sort of position, on his left foot. If you do, that's what happens. Bad one from Gillard, picked up by Dalglish. Here's Johnson, two players coming up on the 18-yard line, but it didn't matter. Johnson curling one in on the near post. Finally put the issue beyond doubt. And really, Liverpool have taken an almighty long time to put it beyond doubt. Mills on the far side. Bertels. Now with Anderson, and it comes to Gemmell. He didn't really mean it, but it came to him in the end. Anderson, that's a goal for Nottingham Forest. Beating the uh, goalkeeper, Mark Kendall. Martinez, and here come Forest. Well, they've looked certainly more menacing in attack since they scored than at any other time in the game. They are getting a few men up, and here's Robertson. Oh, he's sending Naylor one way, then the other. Oh, and a brilliant goal by Robertson. That surely is going to wrap it up. And that was a virtuoso piece of wing play by John Robertson. to Pratt. Oh, it's a goal! That counts! Chilton beaten at last, but beaten by a cruel deflection. And it'll be John Pratt who will claim that to goal. And uh, Peter Taylor and Brian Clough both off the bench again. There's a certain amount of animation now in that uh, Nottingham Forest bench. It's with Gamal. Oh, here. Oh, and it might go all the way for Battles. That's given. Three one it is. Mark Kendall picks the ball out of the net. Wiles kick. Usman with Regis and wins it well. Picked up by Cantello. Batson on the right. Woods is with him. Cantello drops back. Tricky one as Regis comes for it now. Tries to knock it into space. Truick. Oh, a bad one. And it's knocked into the net by Ali Brown. That was a disaster for Ipswich and a bit of luck for West Bromwich Albion. Himself. A little chip free kick there towards Bob Lashford. Go! Well, Trevor Ross. What a remarkable goal for a defence like Arsenal's to give away, and indeed Pat Jennings too. Now, Brady versus Wood with a chance to make it 1 1. That's what it is. Coming to Price, 
Brady trying to get in there, might still get in there, Brady, that's a beautiful goal! Liam Brady, his second and Arsenal's second, and Everton's unbeaten record could be in trouble. So a corner for Everton, Dave Thomas with it, and they haven't got it away, Dobson might get in, and has made it 2-2. Adjustment of the placing, and Ricky Burns buries it in the corner. The salute from Burns. Burns again trying to stay onside, and he's done it. Played onside, in fact, by Andrew Shevsky. Shearer in the middle, so too is Mills. He's looking for Mills. So simple. The goal scorer turns provider because it was all about Mickey Burns is running again. Off to Fox. He's trying to touch it down for Tarantini. And Hill gives it back to Fox. Called a word. Fox. Ball on to Tarantini. That looks good. Gibbons! That's a goal! That's a beauty! Good Gibbons! One nothing, Birmingham City. 18 minutes gone. There's the cross. Big long ball. And there's the equaliser for Jerry Daly. Yes. Tarantini stretched out. Here's the corner. Carter whacks it across. Langer. Buckley. May go all the way on his own. Oh, yes! Steve Buckley, what a shot! 24 and a half minutes into the second half, poor Neil Freeman doesn't know now what happened. Derby fans do, though. Stewart. Here's the post and it's a goal, or is it? I think the linesman is the linesman I think is giving a goal. And Raymond Stewart's shot will count. Maranella losing out to Addison. On to Fleming. Infield to Honeyman. All the way out to Sturrock. Sturrock putting it in the far side. And he did it, it's a goal. Beautifully taken by Kirkwood. Goal number two. 21 and a half minutes gone. Billy Kirkwood's fifth goal of the season for United. And it was a perfect header. Fleming away to Honeyman. Good tackle by McVie. Just got that no more. McVie forward looking for Larnack. Larnack with a great chance for a flick. And it's a lovely goal. Mike Larnack breathes life back into Motherwell with a very, very fine goal, five minutes from half-time. It's ballooned high, and Beatty got to it, and Gates! At last they've opened for him! He's been knocking on, and on them for so long, and finally he's got it in. Mills takes this free kick. We move into the last quarter of an hour of the match. Mariner still full of go, wants it. And it runs to Talbot, who hit the post and it went in. Hit both posts, in fact. He really thundered that. Hit the inside of one post, the inside of the far post, and was in. Here's Kidd. And having said that, it's been an end-to-end -end match. And that's a fine effort and a brilliant goal by Asa Hartford. Beautifully done. Jordan. 
Oh, it's come to Thomas to pull it back, and Jimmy Greenock got in. And Manchester United have taken the lead after all. And Mickey Thomas makes a goal on his first appearance for Jimmy Greenock. Well, Jimmy Rimmer saved a penalty earlier in the week from Alan Ball. How's he going to get on now against Tony Brown? Right down the middle, one nothing Albion. Tony Brown, his fifth goal of the season, 211 for the career. Traditionally, they've always had it good against West Bromwich Albion. They came here as underdogs, but they're fighting hard. And there's Evans and off. Well, oh, that's an end of the net. Well, I suppose you've got to credit the equaliser to Alan Evans. Williams for Southampton, who numerically in the middle of the field, working quite effectively at the moment. Now Flynn, Graham, having to check back. What a marvellous shot, and what a marvellous goal from Arthur Graham. from Golak. In goes Maidley. Across comes Nickel and he's lost it. And it's Graham again. Now Paul Maidley. And it was deflected. The goal is given. And Paul Maidley gets the congratulations. And they won't want to take that one away from him. And the smiles all around because... Eddie Gray, another of the 30-plus brigade. Curry. Oh, my goodness! And Tony Curry milks the applause that is so deserved. Cherry. And again they're caught and Hankin is onside and Golak has put it into his own net. Hankin can smile. He certainly caused the problems. Taylor. Good tackle by Bird to McGee. Well, that was beautiful. And just look how far Stapleton's going across the face of the goal. Oh, and he's lost it, Clements, and he's put in by Price. It's playing off the tour, and uh, Harvey will have that. It's in the back of the net, and Beatty scored. Beatty with a free goal.
Buckley to Lee. Joe Bolton. Oh, he comes in. Entwistle from the right. Oh, he's so oh, You would hardly believe it. Gary Rowell at last has got his name on the score sheet. And again, the man who makes the pass inside was Wayne Entwistle. So the penalty. Tony Brown. Yes, one nothing. Just over five minutes gone. Cunningham is going to get fast character. And he does. Looking cross. Brown! Yes, that'll do it. Douglas is onside. Interesting Hansen getting up into the front and causing some problems. But McGovern gets it away. Here's Highway. Here's Douglas away from the long legs of Anderson. Was tripped on the edge of the area and then inside, and that's a penalty. Gemmell and Anderson going. And the penalty is given. Oh, and he just got it there, but only just. It had to be a good penalty to beat Peter Shelton. Douglas, Alan Kennedy, oh, it's a brilliant save, and McDermott puts it in. And Daly, and Daly again, put the ball, and surely eventually, yes. for himself in the middle green off nicely down for thomas on to richie looks good yes it's gonna go well now they're gonna give that goal to andy richie or mcelroy i would think in the generosity of his heart sammy mcelroy might give that goal to andy richie his first ever league goal could be mcelroy it is thomas mistake there and Greenoff scores Jimmy Greenoff left footy drive 2-1 but that one I'm afraid you've got to chalk down to Vic Holland but gives the ball away to Mickey Thomas and there's Jimmy Greenoff Richie is over this side of the park but uh, is Greenoff needing him Richie yes Press forward, Pat Holland. Robson. Oh, what a great goal. What a great goal. Williams. Bad pass. Beach. Boyer. Peach coming. And that's an own goal. Absolutely hammered in there by Colin Vilger. Curran and Donaghy coming in again. Back on for Holmes. Boyer. That's 2 0. That's a good goal. Simple, well worked, and clinically finished. It's a great ball from Hartford to Barnes. Parr is there. And he's made it. Lock. A little bit uh, dicey, I'll put it mildly. Hasn't been in that position for some time. And they're still in some trouble. His shoulder's not a good ball by Martin. His shoulder makes it beautifully. Well, the tackle well. And played an interesting ball to Beck. And here's Guthrie, and that's a brilliant goal. That is a brilliant goal. 
shoulder. Three to find. Here's with at the far post. And here's Connolly at the other side. Peyton had lost it completely and nodded in very comfortably by Wade. Houston. Green off, sets Richie up. And Popple wide, that was a good ball from Richie. Right across to him again, Richie got there. Well, he started that and he was on the end of it. Intercepted by Patterson, and this is promising. Here's Thomas. Greenoff's come to the near post. Richie is there. So is McElroy. 2 0. McElroy scores. The ball now with Haku. Well, Easto did well there. Here's Hamilton. And he did well also in finding Gillard, sidestepping his man. Well, Hamilton, oh, what a brilliant goal. Well, the substitution truly has worked. Quickly in, and certainly uh, Billy Hamilton has made a bit of a difference. Not only that brilliant goal he scored, but he's uh, a big lad who knocked that ball on well. Bowles now turning it in for Clement. And yes! It's pushed behind again by Billy Hamilton for the second goal. Pucha, now for Donaghy, now for Shannon. Played in firmly there, looked for the one-two and got it back again. Shannon and a goal given for Mike Shannon. That familiar wheeling arm, but uh, I think probably more a gesture than anything else at the moment, because... And Robson is teeing himself up for a drive, and Tony Brown is brought down, and Ali Brown scores the goal. Ali Brown has scored, 1-0, Albion 19 minutes. Wild out. Berry's header out. Daly didn't get hold of it. Tony Brown now. Good drive. What a goal. Tony Brown. Oh, how about that? From that range, 2 0 in Albion. Statham. Oh, beautifully done by Regis to Tony Brown. And there's Alistair Brown. I think he missed kick, but he gets the goal anyway. It's 3 0. 38 minutes for the second half. He must have got a bang on his head. And a great header and a goal. And it's Osgood who's done it. Osgood runs towards the Chelsea supporters. His first game of his comeback. Thanks to Armstrong. And it comes to Mahoney, and that's a nasty deflection. And Brock has scored. He's equalised. Oh, he showed tremendous coolness for the youngster. Tremendous throw. It helped on. Surely, there. So he's got a lot of shirts on his arms and has scored. And that really was a beautiful goal made by Cummins. It's 
square to grip. Oh, well left for stride. And Borough are exposed a bit. Surely someone can, yes. A goal knocked in by Bumstead. Bumstead gets it back to stride. Two men who engineered the second Chelsea goal. Burns to Mahoney, now to Cummins. Borough almost six forwards up, and it's a goal! And it's a hat-trick for Mickey Burns. And once again, the Cummins magic has paid off. Taylor getting it down to Langley. Rather easily beaten. Armstrong into Burns. Proctor on his right, this is Proctor, and Cochrane's got a million miles of war. And it's a beautiful goal! Oh, that really was a corker of a goal. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Chelsea players were in the penalty area. Back it comes with Wilkins. To Britain. Britain racing for that return pass and he gets it now almost going to a lot suddenly damage comes away and he gives it to Burns and the people offside and Cocker was never offside now Burns is not offside and there's the seven challenged by Ross Curry steps in now right for Everton Hart, another good header. Oh, well, he's won that ball. Eddie Gray, fast right, who made the challenge a bit early. Played on nicely for Hawley to shoot, and he'll score. Beautiful goal. And Eddie Gray was... Harvey taking the far post as Ross shapes up to take the free kick. And he's got it in! Right hand. Richie. Gow. That's for Gillies. A good nod down. And it's there! A tremendous goal by Joe Royal. And the crowd love that. And really, this is absolutely farcical. There are very, very few people of the thousands in the stadium could really see what's happening. And that must apply to many of the players as well. It's Dalgleish putting it down. And who shot it? It was stopped. And number three, Evelyn Hughes, knocked it in. And Liverpool go ahead, and they won't want it stopped now. Van der Els through. And he scored, that makes it one each on the night. And this surely means that Anderlecht take the European Super Cup. Neil, Case. Thompson. Dalgleish, Fairclough. And it's there! Liverpool lost 4-3 on aggregate. from John Pratt to Peter Taylor. Here's Pratt again. That was Willie Young. Ardiles. Oh, and the back pass by Pratt is caught. Lacey and Sunderland's in there. And it's in! Sunderland for Arsenal. And the first minute. Disaster for Spurs. Hoddle. Brady's pass and a beauty it was too to Sunderland. Stapleton on the far post. Sunderland shots. Oh, it's in. He scored again. Again, the keeper touched it, but it went in. And Sunderland is making this now a personal performance. Oh, that was beautifully done between Ricks and Brady. And Brady now has got Stapleton and Sunderland in the centre. Still Brady, beautifully done. Stapleton! 
3-0 to Arsenal and a brilliant goal. Brilliant, not just the way it was taken, which was comfortable enough for Stapleton number nine. Price, Sunderland, every Arsenal player wants the ball. Three waiting again for the cross from Price, Stapleton, oh, Pat Rice in there. Oh, Brady won it beautifully. Look at that! Oh, look at that! What a goal by Brady! Oh, a marvellous goal! Ah! On by Stapleton to Sunderland. Is this a hat-trick now? It is. trouble and Spence puts in Kello and then goes into the middle himself for the return what a well taken goal what a very good goal indeed Dave Wagstaff who hasn't played in the last two games for Blackpool a little more robbed by Spence Kello chance to run at goal and in goes the third so Spence returns the compliment aiming for Thompson Wallace and drop for good shot, super goal. Early ball going for Thompson. Yes, he got there, and he scored the goal. Two nothing. McDonald then. Billy Wright a missed kick. Wallace got the touch. A missed kick again. Thompson, Powell, and Hunt, and three. Three it is. Thomas. Good ball on for Dobson. Latchford, the goal from Lyons. 3-1. Now right. Goal in the evening. Everton. King. Awkward ball. Good goal. Bob Latchford. Yes. 3-2. Oh, and well, that was very well taken indeed. And he came in there. Osman came in there completely by surprise. Muren, Woods got in the way. Muren again. Oh, it's got in. Well, Muren will get the credit, I suppose, but there was a deflection off a defender there. Ipswich running the midfield at the moment, it's Walk again. Oh, he's looking for Woods on the far side. Burley. Up they go again, it's going to come to Walk. Oh, I say a beauty. John Walk cracked it home. Here's Mariner for Ipswich. Gates. Woods let it run, it was nicely done to Muren. And it's gone in again. Arnold Muren gets his second, and it's 4-0, and poor John Phillips looks back on a shot which seemed to go inside the near post. Oh, what a poor throw, and that's put Aylott in possession, and there goes Tommy Langley. And he's made keeper play for that. There's Walk. Burley. This is Woods, straight down to Mariner, oh, Mariner makes it look so simple. Rice with the free kick, Staple rather subtle in there with a header, and Staple on into the back of the net. For the breakthrough that was always on the cards. And a chance now for Trevor Francis. Jim Montgomery at the other end is looking at the moment to see whether his skipper can put it past Pat Jennings. Now, will it be 1-1? It is. 
One one. Now Brady. And again, the referee not playing an advantage. And uh, he's been well up with the play. He's made his decisions quickly and honestly, of course. But I must say, once or twice, he has not played the advantage. Tarantini in there, having a tussle with Walford. And Rick's playing it in. And this might come for Price, it might come for Rice, and there's for Pat Rice! So Arsenal are back in the lead. Towers and Dennis, two-man wall. Liam Brady with a little chip going in there, and a near post header beautifully taken by Sunderland to make it 3-1. Fred, which uh, Richardson will take for Stubbs. Good length on it. Stubbs gets it out, and a shot on the turn, and a goal! Sammy Irvin! Oh! Well, there's a shot for you. One minute and 48 seconds on our watch, and Sammy Irvin, his seventh goal of the season. Jeff Scott. O'Brien's under this. Oh, he lost it to Crooks. Has Crooks done too much? Richardson. O'Callaghan. Goal. Brian O'Callaghan makes it 2 0. 35 minutes of the second half gone. And that's a bitter blow for Jimmy Cyril and Notts County. They were doing so well. Clean on the line. So too is Richie, and it's not easy forgotten there as McElroy prepares to swing it in. Feet up the line, inside instead to Ali Brown, and out to Cunningham. The booing of the black players, played off there, or repaid by Tony Brown. Tony Brown turning up in the penalty area, Cunningham again. Past Koppel, past McCreary, we just wanting one chipped in, no, it's played in low for him. Back heel for Cantello. What a magnificent goal. What a great goal. Houston to take the free kick. Over it comes towards McQueen. Tello's header on, and Tony Brown has scored. The last blow of the first half, surely, struck by Tony Brown. That's a neat little header from Regis for Cunningham, and if he keeps his head, he'll score. Cunningham letting the ball beat Houston and he's away again to show that pace and grace and control 
It's the nicely weighted little pass for Ali Brown, who's turned inside Brian Greenoff. On for Regis. Oh, what a goal! And May is coming across. Weller, Henderson, on for Weller, peaks in the middle, so is Buchanan, it's got to be pulled back now, Weller might go, oh, it does, oh, that's a brilliant goal. And here's Buchanan, if he can switch it, Henderson is unmarked, can he get there, Henderson? Yes, he can! Let's get it through the lot, Biggins. Kong. And it's there, Maguire, Paul Maguire there, took advantage of some slack defending. Shrewsbury really putting the pressure on the Cambridge defence. That's it, Graham Turner got the goal. Biggins, Sammy Chapman bursting forward, has he got the pace? Taken by Rice. Up goes Sunderland. And Arsenal go in front. With Alan Sunderland. Getting up. For those of you who are interested in statistics, funnily enough, the only two occasions that Sheffield Wednesday have won the cup this century. On the way to the final, they've beaten Arsenal on both occasions. They trail by a goal to nil. Lowy. Now Johnson setting it up for Hornsby. Took a little too long, but it might come for Lehman. Arsenal are in trouble. Johnson scores. Christana delighted at the other end. Richardson again reaching the long throw for O'Callaghan. And Irvine scores the first goal of the game. Sammy Irvine, 1 0, just as he did against Knox County last week. Put Stoke in front after 15 minutes. Hold a big high one, which Hallam is trying to get under, and Smith's header saves the day. Mac Marsh helps it away. McGroarty, the touch for Kendall. Good first time ball stuff. On again to Kendall from McGroarty. Straightforward, one-touch football. Now Doyle. Crooks. Irvine going in for his second goal. Sammy Irvine. 2 nothing Stoke. 22 minutes. Well, you've got to feel sorry for Peter McDonnell then. Here's Robertson. Alistair Brown. Oh, a chance here perhaps for Regis. Oh, what a shot! Well, that was brilliantly taken. And Cyril Regis gets the congratulations for a fine opportunist goal. Nice ball, Maguire. That was well done. Simmons. Reeves. Davis. Peters came in. Need him away. And the ball. A good advantage played by the referee. The linesman was flagging furiously for a foul on Bertels. He thought that Bertels had a chance of keeping possession, and now it's with Robertson, and it's a goal! The 
jumping unfairly against Stapleton, giving Arsenal the free kick, which has already been taken. Nelson. Good defensive play again by Anderson, except that in the end he lost it and Brady can take it up. There's a good cross now. Stapleton on the far side, and it's knocked in! It's knocked in by Price! Robertson. And McGovern getting lost. And the ball found by Brady. This could be an interesting break for Arsenal. Price is right in there. And Stapleton's right in there. And what a goal! That's... Eight minutes to go. And Stapleton with a devastating shot. And there's no answer to that from the Nottingham Forest bench. Just delaying. Leeds have six players ahead of Curry. And it might come for Warley. Certainly, if we know the travesty if City did get an equaliser. favoured foot, oh! Well, you expect it from Brian Kidd's left foot, but he worked it onto the right. And the substitute who's on as a defender. So that when Curry wanted to play the ball to him, he could not really help him with an angle. Corner coming just after the half hour point. And again, struggle to get to the ball by the goalkeeper, and Paul Hart puts Leeds United in front. Curry. Is Flynn? Did he change his mind about having a crack? Graham. And in by Hankin. Well, if Flynn did change his mind, he made the right decision in the end. Holmes. Jones. Ardiles. Hoddle. Taylor. And you cover back now, huddle, and at last they get one in. I mean, it really looked as though Fulham must score there. Davis right through, and Siddle doing well. And now Bolton at the other end. Beck with the corner. And in fact, Marinello's had a could have caused a few problems. Dale. Nice girls. Finding money. Good cross wanted, and it's got one. And it's there. Gordon Davis, who missed one or two chances in the first half, has put full of level. And now the confrontation begins. Gary Rowell against Kerry Payton. The referee adding to it now by saying that Payton don't move before the kick is taken. The referee coming to the edge of the penalty area to watch for encroachment as Powell. Rowell puts it into the back of the net and puts Sullivan 2 1 into the loop. His luck went with him there, taking it past Raoul. There's a lot of space for Banton on the far side. 
Beck wanting to assert himself, taking possession here now for Fulham. Banton's gone down that touchline. Now he wants a good cross. Too close to the keeper, I think. No, it's not. It's a goal! Still Weimark and Mariner in the middle, but here's Woods coming over to help Tibbet. Bradshaw staying on his line. Again McCall away. Mills. Nice one to Tibbet. Murin is free behind him with a good bit of room. Mariner the far man. Mariner coming in on this. And down for what? Beautifully struck. And he had no real chance. He did well to get his hands to it. With Osman at the back. Beatty at the front. Weimark up here. Good one. Fair enough. And Weimark must get a great deal of that one. But his name won't go down in the book, I'm afraid. It's Mariner. So very up again for the corner. So is McCall just in front of him. Up goes Cooper. And Berry's there. That's it. Barry gets the congratulations, quite rightly so. He didn't have a chance with that one at all, he went the wrong way. Stride, a youngster who's made it this season in the Chelsea side. Harris, not a very good clearance. Hartford. Power, well found by Hartford. but here it was a little miracle after all that it may well be Walker number 11 oh, Mackenzie Curler it's gone in off Perrigan's hands but the linesman has got his flag up on the far side of the field and the referee is going over to talk to him and I suspect that that's going to be ruled out no it's given referee had a word with the uh, linesman and pointed to the middle so Duncan McKenzie is credited with his fourth goal for Chelsea Kid allowed to go on Chelsea maybe didn't uh, see the highlights of last week's game deflected shot from Rockstitcher and he's got a goal a great deal of them in attack in this second half they've got uh, the two big fellas up there Droy and Wicks it's Wicks they're looking for and they found and Droy and Osgood and it is now 2-2 two -two. Owen losing it to Langley and Walker is chasing it Corrigan has come to meet him and Walker has slipped it under him and Chelsea are in front Walker did that so well to the right Paulie Hankin no, Ray Hankin only came back last Saturday after missing three matches because of suspension Williams it's a useful cross and put in beautifully by Holmes and Southampton have got a very precious goal Holmes It's coming down to Williams! It was a disappointing header to put it mildly and Williams gets his first goal of the season. And Wicks is going to take the corner. O'Leary is up on the edge of the six-yard box. Here's Willie Young! And it's Willie Young! Superbly done. Touchline 
in my lamb rating. Hey. Too big for Butcher. Maguire. It's back. Well, what a revelation Shrewsbury have been. Full of ideas, full of confidence, and a lot of football. Maguire's caught a Chapman. It's back. O'Neill taking his time and a shot here from Lloyd. Oh, that will do. Oh, Larry Lloyd, just over 14 minutes. That was a screamer from the left peg of big Larry Lloyd. Graham Brown dived and he was always going to miss it. Former Celtic player. He's finding it difficult to keep his balance on this. Uh, pitch the wee men like Archie Gemmell do better as Robertson and McGovern two goals to Nottingham Forest John McGovern Gemmell calling for it and it'll reach him Woodcock out on the left side where Robertson normally operates Back to Gemmell. And O'Neill, surely. Yes, three. Took a long time coming. Three nothing. Willings. Pugh. Now McDonald. Stanley Ford. Has Willings to work with. Being forced away out of it. And Ford is still there, and little chip and far post is Randall, and Wellings is going to score. Yes. 3-1. Some respectability about the scoreline insofar as York City are concerned. Barry Wellings brought on as the substitute has got the goal. And that build-up was pretty useful too. And Manchester United, with so many supporters here who are urging their team on at the moment, and I would think maybe just a little bit worried with the way in which Fulham are attacking them. McElroy now back for Button. But they've held firm in spite of Fulham having the better of it so far. And here's Pearson playing it to McElroy. To... Oh, a good go! Jimmy Greenoff. And now Bullivant. One of those unspectacular midfield players. My word, he gets through some work. Finding Beck this time. Forward towards Guthrie. He really should have scored with that uh, swinging cross from Evans a moment ago. Oh, playing well though. Bullivant turning it in once more. Marjorison! His soonest. McDermott's in here. Dalgleish! Albion bodies all over the place in the goal mouth, and Liverpool have scored. Tony Brown. Hello. Hello. Albion, their own worst enemy, is there with the clearance. Look at the way Dalgleish is running this match. McDermott, Beckler. Oh, it's two. Daily Beckler. Look how pleased he is.
John Wyler. Oh, and Brown came in. Ali Brown, the scorer. And Albion are back at 2-1. Sims gets that one away with only the Phillips. Oh, that's the fine goal. So, it's going to be Gallio. Oh, no, it may be Brian Kidd. Both are lining up. It's Brian Kidd with it. And it's a goal. Last five minutes of the first half now, and Bevan with this corner for Tottenham. And again, Watson out jumping everybody to get it clear. And a chance for a break here now for Manchester City as Owen finds Barnes. Now, can Barnes get the better of Kane? Owen's right in there, but Barnes may not need him. What a beautiful goal! What a brilliant goal by Peter Barnes. And that is only his third of the season. He's going to give a yellow card to McAllister. Well, that was what the argument was about. The argument was about the obstruction by McAllister on Peter Barnes at the start of that run. No wonder Mike Shannon, that's a lovely shot. No wonder he is uh, smiling away there. The goal stands. Woodcock. Bertels on his left, this is Bertels again. What a beauty! That is a superb goal. He was challenged then by McAndrew, but Woodcock made the goal first of all. Johnson to Cochrane. Cochrane will be seeing Wednesday playing for Northern Ireland against England. Now McAndrew, and it goes Proctor! And there's Cummins and Proctor! You really have to work for your goals against the Forest. So a penalty. Robert take it and score. Now John Robertson has scored after 48 minutes from the penalty spot. And a brave effort, let's be honest, and a save by uh, Jimmy Stewart. McAndrew, a terrible effort, and Bertels the score. Oh, what a terrible effort by McAndrew, who spreads down his head in his hands. Stapleton, uh, maybe with a chance to create something here. Price is joining in. Brady. Ricks. What a good cross to Price, and Sunderland has got it! Well, it must be said that United have had the uh, balance of pressure in the second half, but that really was the best opening created by Arsenal, and well tucked away by Alan Sunderland. Well, United have lost their last uh, three league matches, Two here at El Trafford. Sunderland, he's onside, and he scored a second. Alan Sunderland has struck twice inside a minute, and United must be surely dead and buried. Straight to Harris. Only Hankin is up with him. Harry and Graham trying to join forces. 
And it comes in for Tony Curry. Beautifully taken. Hughes playing a forward. Then after that one. He says to Keegan, and here's Keegan with Barnes outside him. Brookings gone through the middle there in an onside position. In towards Latchford, in towards Koppel. And uh, it was Nelson who got that away. O'Neill getting it on its way. Mills intercepting for England. Here's Phil Neal for England. Played wide now for Koppel. Interesting cross towards the far post. Keegan! Kick that's going straight to Cochrane. Oh, shoved off the ball unceremoniously there was McCreary by Curry. Here's Peter Barnes doing the thing that Jack Carlton likes him to do. A lovely little flick though for Keegan. And a good cross by Keegan to the far side. And the header coming in. And it's there by Lutchford. A corner then which Brooking will take. Watson's there, and another one! Three nothing! The agony of Pat Jennings, beaten twice in the first four minutes of the second half. The swinging corner by Brooking again. I think Ron Atkinson said at half-time that he didn't think the, the quality of the England crosses had been what it should have been. But in this second half, the quality has been that much better. Probably Ron's told him to get the ball deep and get it, get it to the far post. Corner coming in, Keegan's back with Heller! take it and go through the gap Corrigan out to meet him if he can put it back he's got green off up into the six yard box comes to Koppel and it's went in even though Corrigan got a touch to it McElroy taken by Jimmy Green off on for Koppel he did well! Oh, that's a brilliant goal! That is a superb goal by Steve Koppel! Oh, he clipped that at such a lovely angle! Oh, Watson left for dead by a fine turn. They have looked better balanced, United. In all possible meanings of that expression, individually and collectively. Makari, McElroy, Richie! can celebrate his debut in the derby match his first derby match and he gets on the goal sheet and is supremely well struck Dennis Smith coming up for this one O'Callaghan another obvious target and the ball does come swinging in here from Howard Kendall and it's a goal and Irvine has done it Domestic shot, but no, it's not. It's there. Sweeney. Pull back. Cooper. Played beautifully for Jerry Gow, who's onside. Whitehead is free. The ball's come to him, and that is the opening goal, is it? Yes. Well deserved by Bristol City, and that's Clive Whitehead's first goal of the season. Thomas, and then Swinger, up goes Laxford, it's come to Andy King, and he's there! Andy King's 12th goal of the season. Back straight back to Latchford and Hunter was very quickly in to rectify the situation. Dobson. Ross, it's not a control pass, and even still he manages to get it in. And King, if he turns here, good score.
and he has. Andy King puts Everton 2-1 on in the lead. Another scrappy goal, but Andy King won't mind that. Dobson. King, very much the hero of the hour for Everton. To Robinson. has missed it, King's on for his hat-trick oh what a finish that was beautifully done Andy King gets his first hat-trick of the season right in fact is having a go oh my word what a cracker Billy Wright's second goal of the season viciously struck Frank Gray takes plenty of time, waits for the buzzing of the anger of the crowd to die down. And he's teeing himself up. He scored a penalty against Birmingham City earlier in the season when uh, Leeds won at home 3 0. Here he goes. And uh, Frank Gray knocks in his sixth penalty of the season, Leeds' first goal of the afternoon. 1 0, 23 minutes gone. McDicken has moved down. Over comes the free kick. McDicken knocking it down. It's flicked in and it's going to be a goal. Street will get the credit. Gibson forcing it over the line. Street was there. Oh, it's been turned back into the path of Hayes. A penalty. Everton protest, but the referee says it was a foul. David Peach will take the kick with his left foot. And scores. Ball. Boyer. Baker. Now Hayes is onside. Southampton have still got the big men forward. One of them is Nickel. it was away by Higgins. Baker shot! Oh, I say! Little Graham Baker! And now ball, and onside, Nick Holmes. Boyer and Hayes are there as well. It's going to come right across, and Higgins makes the pass back, and Boyer has made it three! Henderson, early ball in, it was a good one to Williams. Buchanan. And stand back for Peak. Yes! Andy Peak. Well, given away, and Blackley is there. But in turn, given away to Whitworth. Williams has beaten the offside trap. He's all right. He's okay. And Buchanan rams in the second goal. Nothing wrong with that one. So Dave Buchanan, who's been pinned in that offside trap so many times. Now it's Walker. And Henderson has done himself an injury. He's down with a bad knee. Shoulder laying this one back. To Bird. On to win. Now Natras. Martin. And in with a chance is Natras. And in with a goal is Erling Natras, and it's 2-1. And Newcastle really strung that one together very neatly. Went towards Somner. Somner doing well to turn it across, and it's shot. It's a great chance, and it should be a goal, and it is. McAdam scores. Morton and all sorts of trouble there. Six minutes played. Morton trying to build pressure into a goal this will one up oh, floating it in they did a cross goal but Neil second chance it's bobbing about still dangerous headed back in flicked in front of off and it's in Jimmy Miller will get the credit I think Miller got the final touch but certainly John McNeil played a big big part in it in distracting Ruff and getting his foot in 
George Anderson moving in. Straight into the post and a goal. A Richie special. An Andy Richie special. 14 minutes to half time and a real touch of the magic Andy Ritchie. This is Whitaker. Campbell. Good looking cross. Somner down. Chance for Houston. And it's in the net, yes. Bobby Houston has equalised and Thistle deserve it. Halfway through the second half, Bobby Houston makes it 2 2. Dalgleish turning Morlin, who got back, but it's still Dalgleish. Oh! A brilliant goal! Here's McDermott. Ray Kennedy, oh, what a brilliant run by Ray Kennedy! Oh! What a marvellous goal! What an absolutely choice goal! Good battling going on out there, which I suppose is the quality you need in the fourth division. Maybe higher up to is Leicester. It's nice from Volley and a good challenge by Viney. He hurt himself in the process. Oh yeah, Wilson didn't know where he was, and there's ball for the goal. And the score takes a congratulations, Wilson and Mello exchange pretty sharp comments, I would think. So he was pulled a bit by Viney. Volley has gone on out to the right. Here he is, number seven. And it's in! It's a great ball by Waters that set Volley in. Lathan. It's a great challenge that's worked well on because here's Hemmerman and here's Garwood. Quick away from him and then put in by Hemmerman. Foster, spite of the efforts of Lesser to put him on, is Wilson. And now Ford, and it's going to end how it started. Mistake by Billy Wilson. A chance to go into the Keith, Keith Pritchett, a former Brentford player. Now with a chance to put Watford ahead if he can get it past Len Ward. And it's 1-0 to Watford. Cruz. Graham. Towards McCart. Smith getting in there. That's 1-1. One, one. Dean Smith. It's a free kick for Brentford. Carlton will take it. Uh, Cruz has come up again. McCullough poised on the far side. So Carlton's kick. And they're headed on! And it's Phillips who's put it there! Pritchett will take it again. Bain Ross Jenkins on that goal line, as you can see. And it was just poured down and miss it! Makes it 2 2. something there and in fact Wofford themselves seemed a little surprised when the goal was given but Clive Thomas had no doubts about that so a free kick now for Wofford Pritchett who's just had a yellow card with a long one coming in there and it's there by Jenkins the danger that Brentford always knew existed from this lanky fellow and it now gives Steve Phillips a chance, in fact, to double his season scoring in this one game. He came to the game with two goals all season. He's already scored one. Now, he has a chance to make it 3-3. Three, three. Phillips versus Sherwood. And it's there. 3-3. Three, three. Go 
goal scoring hasn't just been a problem for Millwall this season. Sheffield United have been seeking the right permutation up front. It's really a, another experiment today. It's Tane Rodden Smith. But it's Walker for Millwall. Being allowed to run all the way and making the most of the chance. The goal for Phil Walker. got in league visits here came a couple of years ago and Mil they may have a chance here for Seisman yes after Mitchell had broken and it looks like two points this afternoon Regis coming up John Wilde to Robson oh, Albion aggressively and entertainingly going forward trying to pull leads out of position good work Cantelo Brown oh yes oh yes sir Tony Brown he does it again Tony Brown is 13th goal of the season unlucky for Leeds but Leeds down there again now Graham to drive it to score. Yes, nothing wrong with that. Arthur Graham, 1 1. About 30 seconds left on my watch in this first half. Stevenson on to Curry. Frank Gray is there. Stevenson. Ball to Graham. Curry. Looks good. And here's Harris. And a superb save. And finally, forced in by Arthur Graham. 2-1 to Leeds. Bang on the 45-minute mark. King. Woods with Muran going outside him. And Brazil streaking into the middle. That's left Mariner free. And he's got the goal. And the chance for Raul, and he's got it! But the Sunderland marking is so good, it's almost impossible for the Newcastle players to get away from their shadows, and now here's Raul bursting through. And it's another beauty from Gary Raul! Walker to take the free kick, Sunderland have got ten men back in defence. Doesn't yeah. do them any good, and it's a goal! Gary Rowell has scored both goals in the first half, also missed a simple chance in the first half. Now gets a wonderful chance to get his hat-trick from the penalty spot. The usual whistling we could do without, and Rowell has made it 3-1. Bob Lee, striker turned midfield player, Rostron, knocking it short to Rowell, it's a good pass that. It's a beauty from Raul, and there's the fourth goal. What a magnificent piece of work by Gary Raul. Squeaked at a defensive work by Craig. Hart's moving, Robertson drifting left, looking for a good ball and getting it. Brown coming in, uh, up in support, Robertson drifting in, tries a right foot shot, and it's there. And now Craig can knock that into the box with those long throws, finds Busby. Busby hooks it across, down to Fraser. Fraser's got a free shot. They're deflected, appeals for hands and driven in by, G yes, it's a goal. O'Connor scores. Hearts two up, 16 minutes gone. This is Smith. Kufa to McDonald, good ball. McDonald through the gap, lovely move, chance for Smith. On a brilliant goal. Cooper McDonald Smith, 2-1. 21 minutes played, and Rangers are back in the match. For Scythe to Cooper. Dawson coming up on the outside. Lovely flick from Cooper to Dawson. Dawson showing nice control. Edge of the box to McDonald. A one two's on. Brilliant chance and a goal. Parlane scores. Fraser to take it. Hey, we then it's there. It's in the net. O'Connor second, Hart's third. 
beautifully fighting corner and Hearts break the second half deadlock. Stapleton and Sunderland just outside the six yard box. O'Neill, Bertles, and Cooper not sure, still Bertles, and he makes it count very well indeed. Just a simple through ball. O'Callaghan to his left. Randall. O'Callaghan. Mike Doyle's coming in. Well, what a happy man he is. Mike Doyle joined the attack and with what telling effect. Kenny Mitchell, Mets in Charlton Athletic for the equaliser. Shoulder running across the box. Walker, will he try one? Can't get the room for the shot. Again for Brownlee wide on the right. We're pushing by with no. Chance now for Martin. Oh, what a soft goal. Walker chips it in. Mitchell looks delighted, and no wonder. Going to put a red flag, Mr. Ray Fairley going on the pitch. Tell him exactly where to put the free kick. Peacock with it. And it's in. Well, how did that one get through from Dave Shipperley? Now he's got the added problem of having to kick the ball into the wind. Does very well with that one. A nice flick for with. Shoulders in the middle. More support arriving through Connolly. Wood still has to turn this ball across. He does. Martin. That's fair by shoulder. Newcastle United get the second half underway just as they got the first. Berry. Sure. Berry's on for the return if he wants it. I'm sure in a bit of trouble here. John Connolly's with a chance. He's taken it. John Connolly, the scorer. Shaw sure now. And that's in. Goal came just absolutely out of nothing from Martin Robinson. With Martin Peters sensing an opening, and Harvey making the save. Now heard. Out from Hoagley. Frank Gray. 
Paul Hawley. And John Hawley ends a barren spell. Turn from Robson, and he was unlucky. But deflected off Ryan for Bond. And Kevin Bond gets a goal out of nothing. Now heard. And enjoy, enjoyed a lot of freedom in the first half. Now finds himself in the centre of a battle and makes a mistake under pressure. Robson, Fashionu this time. Graham. He's going to need some character now from Leeds to lift themselves back into this game. And that was Peters nearly letting Flynn in an open goal for Curry and then Hawley. So the call was for character, and Leeds came up with it. Hartford. Shannon, 1-0! Well, Mike Shannon has earned that one. Ah, Owen. On the middle, Kidd. That's a foul, and it's a penalty. A chance to put City two ahead here. And just gets it under McDonough's dive. Reeds. Worthington. To Ponte. That's a useful ball. And Mayer's first time ball was meant for Sulzer, and that wasn't a bad one either. And Sulzer gets in here for Grasshoppers. And well, don't say Forrest weren't warned. It's a header by Lloyd. Woodcock. Oh, nice turn. Now Bertels. Gary Bertels scores the equaliser. And Forrest are relieved. John Robertson is Forrest's penalty expert. And scores. There are three minutes to go. And Forrest badly want the third goal. Lloyd. Bertels came in. Here's Gemmel. Here's McElroy now. And that is the equaliser from Thomas. His first goal for Manchester United. And that's brought a bit of joy to that end of the ground. 1-1. When they were so close a moment ago from Popple's header. In the end, it was a bit of a scramble. Several targets to aim for. Rafferty. Touch. Rafferty again. And he scored. Billy Rafferty's got it. He's broken the deadlock and Rafferty's first goal of the season has put Wolves in front. Paul Bradshaw saved uh, 
three penalties this season. On the other hand, Ian Atkins here has scored four out of the ten goals that he's got. This for 1-1. One, one. Yes! With less than five minutes to go, Ian Atkins keeps Shrewsbury's hopes alive. When there's big crowds and that, you, you, you tend not to... Um see individual faces and, and you're concentrating so much as well you, you can't do that but um, you're aware of the passion and the loyalty of the supporters and you know how much it means to them that it's um, you know it's important Gordon McQueen moving into the area and it's not it in the far post by Joe Jordan Thomas some space here. Mayda coming to cut it down. Oh, and Kendall Court in two minds. And McElroy makes in a very simple goal. Walker under pressure. He's one against one here. Oh, Goddard. Goddard number 11. 1-0. And it all developed from a moment where Chelsea were caught perhaps lacking experience and certainly not thinking. Is held. Oh, goal by Don Shanks, I think. Francis this time. He really tested the goalkeeper last time. The same sort of corner. Busby, and it's gone in. Glenn Roder, the scorer. The ball ricocheting him out of the box. Barota picks himself up off the ground in bewilderment. Collins. Wilkins missed it. Busby didn't. 3 1 to Rangers with just under 15 minutes left for play. Hunter again. This is Tainton for Bristol. Again, Royal is the target. That was Mabbott, it's going to come to Jerry Gow. Oh, good goal! That was really well taken. And Jerry Gow puts some life back into the match now and into Bristol City. There's Armstrong. And Armstrong again, he went nicely for that and scored! Oh, that's well taken as well by David Armstrong. in behind him there's the pass for Nick Holmes Boyer again Peach waiting for it now Peach getting it right foot perhaps no Alan Ball played in there now for Peach and a goal David Peach they're looking around for offside the linesman kept his flag down and Southampton have worked a superb goal by David Peach Touching it on there for Peach, and it never really was his ball, though. And maybe a chance for a quick forest break from deep here now, as Bertels takes it up and plays it on here for Gemmel. Playing very much more forward now in this second half, taking the fight to Southampton. And here's John Robertson and Golak with him, and Curran coming back quickly as well. Golak getting in there, and Gemmel playing it on for McGovern. looking a little more aggressive in the second half here's Robertson now can he get a shot in oh. and a goal there oh. well Berkles got a chance he should never have been allowed ball a little touch for Boyer to the corner flag there and I tend to think that 
whatever he gets he almost deserves but I suppose he was whacked up the back there was Bertels and that can't be allowed O'Neill tossing it in Peach and here's Woodcock getting in Gemmell Woodcock and another one Tony Woodcock and that surely has killed him off there's that ball in the back of the Southampton net Williams Baldwin right in there and Curran in here oh and a great goal by Nick Holmes well get back he says let's get back to the centre and get started again because maybe the whole thing's been opened up once more Duncan sideways to McLeod. Early ball flick forward, Campbell going in. And it's a goal. Colin Campbell's first Premier League goal of the season. 18 minutes played. Hibs lead 1-0. A little bit of gamesmanship. The ball moving off the spot. George Stewart trying to indicate that the ball wasn't properly spotted. And I don't think that'll have done. Willie Gibson any good, however legitimate the complaint was. So here comes Gibson. 1-1. One, one. Beautifully taken. Swept in. Right-footed. Carter had no chance. Uno sguardo alla panchina, si torna sul campo dove Sulzer assesta la palla sul dischetto. Ha di fronte Shelton, uno dei due portieri della nazionale inglese insieme a Clemens, con il quale Sovente si alterna, Menegali si allontana, ecco Sulzer, un canoniere ticinese veramente interessante, poco più che 23enne, è suo il gol dell'1-0. La partita potrebbe rimettersi su un piano di teorico equilibrio, ricordiamo che l'andata il Nottingham aveva vinto per 4-1, ma passano soltanto 4 minuti e con una splendida azione riescono a pareggiare i giocatori inglesi. Ecco su questo rinvio della difesa è Gemmill che sulla sinistra il nazionale scozzese Gemmill va a recuperare il pallone lancio in profondità molto bello tocca appena Bertles per l'interessantissimo giovane Woodcock anche lui molto giovane e ancora Bertles traversone radente O'Neill riesce a precedere tutti e a realizzare il gol del pareggio che in pratica sigla il risultato della partita gol che possiamo comunque rivedere nella ripresa rallentata dalla quale si apprezzerà ancora meglio lo scatto di O'Neill e il suo cambio di passo per giungere in tempo utile sulla palla e toccarla quel tanto Shannon, Wardell, drilled home, and there was a gap there. Shannon found it with devastating accuracy, and having just lost Willie Young, Arsenal have just conceded a goal as well. Healy again with a corner. Oh, it went through everybody, and Sunderland knocked it in. It floated through the whole defence, and Sunderland, to his own astonishment, left with a goal at his mercy. Now it's McDowell for West Ham. Now to go a long way, can he do something with it? Well, here's Devonshire, quickly on that one. Devonshire all the way through, and a goal. Beautifully placed. West Ham's goal with 20 minutes gone. A superb piece of cool thinking by Alan Devonshire, and the joy that says it all. Good break again by West Ham, and you fancy Steve Hardwick might be facing a busy afternoon. As it is at the moment, Brownlee bringing it forward for Newcastle. Cut out by Brush. Played on again by Robson for Brooking. Brooking playing it in for Robson. Oh, my word, a beautiful goal. Robson against his old club, but a goal of classic proportions. Good, skillful play that by West Ham. Nice, simple passing, accurate as well. Brooking. It's a good cross too. Fisted away though. Lampard turning it back, deflected in. Lampard will claim it, number three. And Hardwick, no chance at all with that. Brush with the header. Cross trying to get in there. Nicely touched by Cross there for Brooking. And Holland battling away there. Brooking with the header again. Skillfully played for Holland. Robson's right in there. Holland's going on. Forced a little wider than he wanted to go. Brush coming up in support of him. And McDowell in there!
number four. Well, the goals are here for the taking this afternoon. And McDowell took that one superbly to the delight of the young West Ham fan. Bird putting some of the West Ham patrons in danger with that hefty clearance into the stand. A throw for West Ham. Jeff Pike with it. Devonshire. Pike again. And another fall for McDowell. Hit well. Oh, a beautiful goal by McDowell. <laughs> well, that really is getting a goal out of nothing. Number five and the second for John McDowell. All this season he hasn't scored for the first team. And now two in this one game and the fifth for West Ham. Dennis Smith back on the field now to resume his place in the middle of the Stoke defence. That's a good header by O'Callaghan. Randall a chance. And a goal. 14 minutes gone. That's Irvine's ball. Chance for O'Callaghan. He's turned the defence and he's got a second. A penalty which John Buchanan is coming up to take for Cardiff. <laughs> well, Callahan on the near post there was waiting. Dennis Smith also up. That's for O'Callaghan. Randall and Crooks. 3 1 Crooks. Would Hodson getting it? Is a goal. That really was a good goal by Mickey Burns, but every credit to David Hodgson. Hodgson, hold to Mahoney, now Burns. That really was lovely football as the ball put... Need to have people out on the wings. And given the score. My goodness, he hit that well. He returned, but it's not coming. Now they're aiming for him. And that's a tremendous shot from Bruce. That's the kind of finishing that has made Alex Bruce leading scorer in the... Arsenal suggesting at the start of the second half they're about to take over this is Rice now can Wolves survive this Torbett Price won it well Stapleton oh yes Fred Stapleton he deserves the goal more than any other player on the field and just look at the reception It looks as though Wolves are going to reorganise now because Palmer, the right back, is the player who's gone off and Patching has gone to the right-hand side. So it's a, a utility player for a defender, really. Sunderland is through. Alan Sunderland scores against his old club. The goal that almost certainly means Arsenal are destined for Wembley. in there for Dalglish. Oh, Dalglish! And a goal! Dalglish! Green off. Jordan's right in there. And Jordan! Well, their reply was quick. Thomas with the throw for United. No, he's going to leave it for Alberston. Jimmy Greenoff. Alberston chipping it in there. Brian Greenoff was right in there, playing much more forward in the second half. Cobble's in there. And Brian Greenoff's in there. And Brian Greenoff has done it. 
and Liverpool's fans rousing them to make a really big effort in the seven minutes that now remain. Neil finding McDermott, highway outside him. Thompson up ahead of him. Bailey is down, and that's the goal! Edson! Taken by Miller, but sliced up in a wee bit. Bunch of ball nicely down first time to Kennedy. Kennedy looking for Strachan. Harper turning it on. Is it too far? Strachan chipping it across. Goal. Chance for Davidson and a great save. But McCoy is on the line. It's a goal. Davidson scores. Disaster for Peter McCoy. Duncan Davidson scores. 13 and a half minutes gone in the second half. Duncan Davidson's fourth goal. A moment of real anxiety for the Rangers defence. forward, straight to Russell, Miller off on a run down the right, this is Miller, on to McDonald, left foot short coming up, deflected, and a goal, Ollie McDonald ties it up, 32 minutes in the second half, it's 1-1, everything to play for, so into the third minute of injury time, as McLean lines up for this free kick, that's the last kick of the regulation 90 minutes plus. McLean, Jackson, goal! Colin Jackson scores the third minute of injury time and it's all over. Socks are rolled down. Thomas, McElroy is just inside, Green off his spark post, Jimmy Green off! Manchester United have scored, and it's the man that got the winner in the final, Jimmy Greenoff. Would you believe it? Curry just placing the ball there. Pitch cutting up very badly indeed. Hart. Cherry. So a free kick to Ipswich. Muren. Oh, chance for Gates. It's there. Eric Gates has scored. And Ipswich must feel it's not before time. A corner then for Orion, which Bill Roffey is going to take. Ian Moores and Joe Mayo are up there. Henry Hewton's come up from the back. And Paul Went is up there too. Aimed him back towards Wayne, who got a good header in there. Hewton getting a header in there. Mayo with a chance to turn on it and score. Joe Mayo. <laughs> Went. Well, he could be putting his goalkeeper in trouble. Fisted away. Oh, what a good piece of goalkeeping, and a goal by Sayo, 1-1. Mallory is off his bench, and the relief... ..and uh, the relief in the Brighton camp. Free kick to Brighton. Chivers first away from his man, Paul Went, finding Kaplan. Sayer again, hurdling past all the challenges, a good cross there, and a goal by Chivers, 2-1. And uh, Alan Mullery off the bench again, the gamble of buying Chivers for £15,000 from uh, Norwich, and putting him in the side and keeping him there for the second successive week has paid off. That looked perfectly OK. Roffey finding Coates. And a shot, and a beautiful goal by Coates, 2-2. Two -two. Well, he hasn't hit many better than that. Retained possession well there, here's Chidozi. Well, it might not come for Roffey, and Whittle and Roffey were waiting there. It wasn't a good ball from Chidozi, and it's given Brighton possession now. 
And it's Clark going all the way through to score a beautiful goal. They're off the bench again, and Brighton are in the lead again. Coates. Mayo. Whittle. Nicely played there for Coates. Sayers after him. Played for Roffey, calling for the cross. Mayo's backward header. Balls with his header. 3-3. Steele not happy with it, or at least with the cover. Peak has flipped to Kelly. Goodwin. Good ball, Smith. They're putting it together, and there's Buchanan with the first goal of the game. No doubt about that. Dave Buchanan. Oh, what a simple and beautifully worked goal. And Stoke shouting at each other in real anger. The end of the first half. It's Randall across. And a header. Yes, Busby got there. The first header was Tommy Doyle. But the killer one was Busby. It wasn't really taking him anywhere. Thompson waited and picked him off. Case is away here. Chance for the shot and it's in. by Ricks but riding it now Neil McDermott Johnson to Sunis and just a touch but Dalgrish will score now McDermott Case Sunis slipping Talbot could be number three here but Dermot gets it. Made by Sunis, finished by McDermott. A goal of classic simplicity. Lynch through to Dial. Davidson back to Buns. And to Dial takes it first time. Through to Davidson. Davidson showing nice control. Corbin moving on to the far side. Corbin turning it out in front, it must be a goal. Conroy scores. Celtic into the lead. Mike Conroy's second goal of the season in the eighth minute of the match, and it was all so simple. Has a chance to bring his total into double figures for the season as Alan Roth prepares to face this penalty kick. Andy Lynch then against Alan Roth. Great save. Lynch follows up and scores. Goal for Celtic. Bitter disappointment for Alan Ruff. Through ball for Glovatz. Glovatz being chased by Needham. That's a good ball into Van Gogh. Good drive and a goal. Yes. Van Gogh and that is a dramatic goal. A crusher for Nottingham Forest. Four times, cap for West, West Germany. Here's Woodcock. And once again, Cologne break and the long striding. Herbert Newman has looked and finds Van Gogh. And he's all right. It's one against one. Van Gogh against Schulten. And now it's Muller to score goal number two. Oh, my goodness me. Forest are in real trouble. Two nothing down at home. They look at the linesman. They ask for the offside flag. It didn't come. But they've only themselves to blame there. Needham and Lloyd in the box, the corner taken. Boyer off to Robertson. Needham. And then he's looking for Battles. And that was a beautiful goal from Barry Battles. In the same net that he scored his first European Cup goal against Liverpool, has dragged Forrest back into the game. 2 1 now to Cologne. And Glovatz turns out of trouble against Robertson and gives the ball immediately to McGovern. Now Robertson with a chance really to go at the Cologne defence. The chip. Bertels knocks it down. 
and Boya scores the goal. Beautifully constructed goal for Ian Boya. This man of all parts, man of all seasons. No thoughts of uh, looking for a third at this moment. Here's Woodcock, McGovern. There goes Bertels. Turn, shoots, oh, it's great, and a superb goal! John Robertson! What a fantastic goal by John Robertson! 3-2 Nottingham Forest. 17 minutes into the second half. Bertels across and Lloyd in. And McGovern trying to win this back. But Muller knocks it off for Van Gaal. It's one-on-one -on -one at the moment. Van Gaal and Okadira. Is this going to be dramatic? His first touch. Oh, yes it is. Oh, my goodness me. What a way to come on as a substitute. And that man Van Gaal did it again. Okadira. Kennedy came in, so did Thompson. It was away in the end by Alberston. Here's Thompson. Alan Kennedy. Did that nicely. Douglas! <laughs> Just overran that slightly, and here's Ray Kennedy with Case breaking on the right. Liverpool have played that ball so well this afternoon. But Dermott is in support inside, and Phil Neal's made a run from the back. Still case. There's Neal! Oh, I say! Phil Neal, so delighted as well he might be, because this today is his 250th match for Liverpool Football Club in the first team, and he celebrates with a lovely goal. Haines go. And he hit it well! Oh, Screamer! Oh, Screamer! Goddard. Here's Walsh. And onside! Dave Clement, that's a surprise for Spurs. They found him onside. And he scored! Dave Clement has scored. Uh, Spurs as one man are looking to the linesman. They can't believe that Clement was onside. But the linesman here with the yellow flag, Mr. Richardson of Kent, kept that flag down. Steve Perman, in fact, coming across towards him and having a word. Now hold on. Hoddle taking it back again, Perriman's right in there. And Perriman has equalised within a minute, 1-1. Eddie Gray coming over to take it. The fella have brought John Dean back to mark Trevor Cherry right in the centre of the goal. Evans is picking up Hart. Bent in towards Paul Hart, who scores. 21 minutes gone, and Leeds, after battering away, not entirely convincingly. Woodcock. Good skills. Oh, beautiful goal! Gary Mandels picks it up. One nothing. 27 minutes of the first half. Gary Bertel scores his 24th goal of the season. Bertels. Robertson. Ball aimed on for Woodcock, and he got there. And Bertels is in, and O'Neill is striding away on the far side, but Woodcock's going down here. He looks up for O'Neill to score goal number two. Beautiful bit of work again. There's Forrest forward line. Rampant, 2 nothing up, 34 minutes gone. 
Carter then with the corner. That's Wicks. And that's a goal. No! Well, it's a goal now for Webb. 2 1 the score. 42 minutes gone. Right behind Copeland, this could be dangerous. Davidson. McCluskey. McGrain was screaming for the ball on the right. There's McCluskey. Oh, it's in. What a goal. There's Vic Moreland. Nice ball, Daly. Greenwood and Daly's through here on the return. Jennings right out. Oh, Jelly Daly. Steve Buckley. Oh, it's gone in. Steve Buckley. 2-0 to Derby and Jennings makes an uncharacteristic mistake. I love that plunging neckline. Now, here's a good example of number nines shouldn't come back and defend. They're no good at it. But it was the heavy haircut which did it. Miller. Jocelyn coming behind Pritchett. Charlotte. Oh, that's beautifully awaited to Hamilton, to Rowland! A really fine goal! Really fine goal! Allardyce's throw. There's header, Gowling under it. Worthington's, um, Worthington now from Gowling's header, and Worthington! on the far side, possibly not aware that uh, Ron Greenwood is in the stand on this side. Now here goes Brazil who is onside and there goes the equaliser. Well, a simple goal lofted over. Jim McDonough putting on his cap against the sun when the corners come from this side, particularly as Muren is inclined to hit them high and deep. One closer to the goalkeeper. And Mills was allowed a free header. And it is prodded in, I think, by Walk. Walk certainly claiming the credit. And Walk it is who gets the congratulations. Mills for Ipswich. Jones just headed it on to Brazil. Brazil has got away from him, chance for him to get his second here, and he has done it very well indeed. It's a good corner. What a good goal too from Allardyce. Well, that was an Allardyce special. Just chests it down, tries the shot. Oh, and that looked like a deflection from maybe Berry or hit it. Robson is getting the credit. Berry, Rafferty, and Cole on the far post, ready to come in. There's Berry. There's Richards. Beautiful goal. John Richards. A very similar goal to the one that Gary Bertles. Scored against Cologne. Sullivan perhaps winding up for a long one. Looks for the cross. Struck and unmarked. That is it for Aberdeen. 24 minutes. Aberdeen won Celtic nil. the 
for Celtic. No mistake, Clark with no chance whatsoever, and Celtic with a somewhat controversial penalty have drawn level with Aberdeen. Edison challenging. And then with a nicely weighted chip and a chance here for Dawson to turn it in. And it's a goal! Ali Dawson scores for Rangers, sensationally. 23 minutes on the clock, and what a goal. Donald to Cooper. Back to McDonald. And Cooper again. Cooper still has it. Coming straight through, turns it out in front of the goal. Brilliant Cooper, brilliant Smith, 2 0. Gordon Smith's 14th goal of the season, superbly taken, and Cooper magic. 30 minutes gone, Rangers 2 up and in the driving seat. And a chance for Dundee United to have that terribly bad penalty kick record to get back into the game. Raymond Stewart against Peter McCoy. Fifteen minutes gone in the second half. United claw themselves back into the match via the penalty spot. Bowyer in the six-yard area. Flicked on. There's Bowyer! Yes, he's got it! Bowyer just inside the six-yard area and the flick on. And the man who's played in so many places for Nottingham Forest. Brian, bring it in towards Hooks again, Vinter now for Masson, and uh, a chance for Palace to come away again, once more with Jerry Murphy, again seeking out Hilaire, and this time Hilaire's going to find the chance. Swindlehurst, that's a go! on the far side, Murphy played in for Swindlehurst, a little one-two there, and to go by Murphy, number two. Just look at the joy there, and behind the goal, because Paris, in their hearts at any rate, they feel the first division's on its way. Williams, Gary Williams for Brighton, to Maybank. Long ball into the middle, Rollings going up for the challenge. Sayer finding some space on that right side. Oh, good turn, and he's lost his man well. There's a smoke bomb in there. Well, that's incredible. Jerry Ryan has put Brighton ahead. The free kick is lofted over to the far post. Rollings is there. And Andy Rollings makes it 2 0. That's the goal that Brighton needed to seal this game up. And that goal almost happened in slow motion. Sunderland must realise they're in quite a match. Get it up to Evans. And here comes Moore. He's got another chance to put Cardiff in the lead and he's taken it. And so that's a shock for Sunderland. And Buchanan's going to take it and Cardiff have only got three men in the penalty area. Ray Bishop is standing just outside the penalty area and the rest of them are all back waiting for any clearance by Sunderland. Evans Bishop, he scored! Bishop has scored! That one hit the stanchion at the back of the net and came out. Rostrum with the corner kick. This really is high drama. Ashurst, he scored! Oh, that really was a crack! shouting for a forward pass but it wasn't a very good one he just spaced it down the right hand side nice play by Smith and a lovely goal beautiful goal by Bobby Russell his third of the season in his 58th successive game for Rangers now Dawson Russell 
clean forward to Dawson. McDonald. A great move, and it could still break for Parlane. And he scores a second time, yes. Parlane scores. Got a second chance. The sixth goal of the season, 19 minutes gone. Rangers, two goals ahead. Another for Smith. Cooper. Lovely ball. Should be three. Still in play. The train arrives on the scene. Far post. It's, in, it's just in, I think. Yes, it's in. Russell will get the credit. It's 3 0. Jardin, major pass. The train, lovely ball. First time to Smith. Plenty of men in the box. McLean, McDonald, McLean out in front, and Russell's hat trick. McDonald, McLean, Russell, 4 0. Lovely move. Pays de Galles, Allemagne, les Allemands sur la droite en maillot blanc. Ce n'avait pu faire que match nul contre Malte et la Turquie, 2 fois 0-0. Ils ouvrent la marque ici par Zimmermann, au milieu de terrain de Cologne, 1 à 0. On retrouve l'arrière droit de la sélection allemande, Kals. Le joueur d'Ambourg se trouve maintenant en position d'ailier gauche. Voilà, il évite Page, l'arrière droit. Remet le ballon sur son pied droit. Cette fois, c'est la tête de Klaus Fischer. 2 à 0 pour les Allemands. Damn it. Neil has made the run. And how well too. And he gets the second. Oh, that's beautifully done by Phil Neal. It was Tyron James to Tresson, away by Stevenson. Good play by Harrison. That was a fair piece of determined tackling. Here's Basson. Closing in is Billy. Great Billy gets the goal. One of the best strikers outside the top divisions, and he proves the point again. Curtis. Toshak playing well forward now. This is still Curtis, though. There's Toshak. Curtis through. Is it in? Yes, it is. Curtis has scored for Swansea. And the move between... Curtis and the player manager Toshak brings the equaliser. The goal given a tremendous reception by the travelling Swansea fans. This is Basson for Plymouth though. Oh, he scored! What drama here! Brian Basson! Well. Within seconds of Swansea scoring, Plymouth go back in front through Brian Basson. Toshak. Oh, it's going to be Curtis. Is it in here? He's in here, Curtis. Toshak! 2-2. Two, two. It's up to the players here to sort out this last big push into the first division. And here's Sanson crossing it in. Now they've gone back to take a corner. Oh, oh. Well, I don't offer any explanations for that, because I thought it was a corner in the first place. Giles. Well, that's a good one, but Siddall has got it. No, he's lost it, and it's turned in, and the goal is given to Jerry Jones. I don't suppose Arnold will be too displeased about that. Makes the angle 
a bit more interesting for him. And the goal has gone in from Luston. What a last ten minutes that sets up. Excessive corner for Brighton. Awful lot of Brighton players pushed forward. Oh, it's a beautiful goal! Magnificently headed by Horton. And as the corner came across, a bit low, a bit short, Horton raced at it at full tilt. Hit it with his head and it went in like a bullet. Nobody could have stopped that. 12 minutes gone and Brighton go into the lead. Ward. Beautiful close control by Ward and it's a goal. Straight under the body of Kevin Carr. He should have saved that one. But Ward certainly deserved that goal for the way he brought the ball under control. Magnificent skills. Carved out the shooting chance for himself. Hit it not all that well. Carr should have saved it really. And let it slither under his body into the net. Now Horton. Brighton look such a composed team. Run to Ward. Maybank to Ward. Oh, it's almost the third. It is the third. And there's no doubt about that one. And so, as Ryan hammers that one in, Hibbit finds Connor. With to Hibbit. And neatly intercepted by O'Sullivan. And then carelessly giving it away. Hibbert with. Martin and a goal by Shelby. And still really hammering his defenders because of that ball was put in by Martin. Right along the ground, no bright defender moved to it. And Alan Scholler hit it first time. Straight to Bonds, but Russell intercepts quickly. Donald hooks it forward and McLean is onside. McLean out in front, a chance for Russell. McDonald scores. McDonald started it, McDonald finished it. Goal to Rangers. 12 minutes gone in the second half. Alec McDonald's eighth goal of the season. Und das 1 zu 0. Und das 1 zu 0. 21. Spielminute. Zestic, der Mann der Hertha BSC, schon aus diesem Pokalwettbewerb geworfen hat. Es könnte Kulik ein paar Meter gehen. Da ist der Ausgleich, der Ausgleich, kein Abseits. Eine wunderbare Flanke von Alan Simon. And Sunderland's again, good timing, getting it in the air. Now Brady 
with Makari snapping at him. I wonder if that's going to be the sort of thing we shall see for 90 minutes that Makari will need to stick close to Brady when he's in the midfield there. Price going right in there and turning it back and a goal and it's going to be, well, either Talbot. And United have got a few men forward. Now it's Arsenal's turn to counter-attack with Brian Talbot. Rice going outside him. Here's Brady. It's going all the way. Can he find the shot or the cross? There's the little cross coming in. And that's number two by Stapleton. Two nothing down. And hope now is fast fading for them as Koppel lifts that free kick in there again. It'll come all the way through to Jordan, turning it back in there again. And a goal! And it's given! And McQueen is the man who claims it. Well, are we in yet for an amazing upheaval? Here's Greenoff, touched into the quarry. And they'll fight everything now in these... Uh, few minutes that remain, their heads not for a moment have dropped, even though they've been up against it for most of the game. Orbiston playing that one in there, and O'Leary getting it away. Back for Nicol. Well, the United fans wanted him to get on with it, and that wasn't a very good ball by him. But here's Koppel, and there's McElroy getting in there. Can he finish it off? Yes, he can! That tells it all. Arsenal were preparing their victory speeches, and now they're dumbstruck. What an amazing turnaround. Unbelievable. I'm delighted for them. They've earned it since three o'clock. They put themselves back in with a shout. And the scenes on the two benches, well, I've never heard. The despair on the face of Don Howe and uh, Terry Neal. But wait a moment, it's there by Sunderland! And they're back in the lead again! And they're off the bench once more! What an amazing cup final! Well, that's when you're at your most vulnerable, when suddenly you've got it all back. They relax for a moment, and Arsenal have punished them for it. Then Carrasco with the 11, he plays links out. And Rescha with the number 7, who is now on the ball. Rescher, 32 Jahre alt und die erste Chance und das Tor vor der Sanchez. Zimmermann, Thomas Alos auf Seel, diesmal auf dem anderen Flügel. Bommers Schuss. Na, Schuss. Und der Ball ist im Tor. Klaus Alos und... Sie merken in dieser letzten Viertelstunde, wie der Kampf die Technik auffrisst und auch die Übersicht. Aber das ist bei solchen Pokalgefechten und dem Endspiel nun oft so. Und auch verständlich. Rescher. Und Asensi. Asensi ist 2 zu 1. Seel startet in den Ball hinein. Tor. 2 zu 2. Wunderschön gemacht. Kranke. Dann nächsten. Rescher. Der Ball ist im Tor. 
Fischer. Nächsten. Das könnte die Entscheidung sein. Nein, verspielt. Danke. Ja. Die Entscheidung. und Lund. Noch sechs Minuten. Alok. Und dabei ist das Tor. 4 zu 3 durch Seel. Ist dann das die Möglichkeit? 4 zu 3. Oh, the pass wasn't too good though. Curtis to Tosha. Oh, and Tosha right through Hansen. One now, a good goal by Tosha. Completely taken. Toshak really punished the Scottish centre-backs then. Phillips. Flynn. Curtis. Number 10, Toshak. And that's the second. The Scots look to the linesman. The linesman kept his flag down. And Toshak gets number two. Good dummy by Curtis. And he got free. Toshak. Number three. Jordan by himself. Oh. He left Watson too easily for comfort. Now he's got number two, Neil. England with defenders streaming bad. And even Jordan's power wasn't enough. But that's Graham. Dudley's 1 0 walk. the Barnes, Wilkins, Keegan, Brooking, but Flick, Barnes behind him, right there, and England have stolen one back, after it not looking so promising at all, Evelyn Hughes, captain of the England squad, up to celebrate, and the few England supporters in the crowd make themselves heard. On for Latchford. He's very, very wide. He might have made the angle better. Support behind him now from Barnes. Number 11. He's found Mills. Push wide. Wilkins. And he came off board into the net from Coppel. Stolen another. Evelyn Hughes, captain of the squad, reads the, leads the celebrations. Hartford. Gray. Hartford. Broke down thanks to Steve Coppel's persistence. Keegan. Rookie breaking forward. Took the attention away from Keegan. There's the one, two. And it's three one. And the Scots defense sliced the ball. getting bogged down rather in the middle of the field but that's uh, Watson with the long ball Ifkoff with the header Brooking saw his chance there and went all the way for the Brooking and Kevin Keegan scores for England a typical Brooking-Keegan combination how well it works and Ron Greenwood's entitled the smile to be taken again by Brooking Oh, Watson up again, and that's gone in the net. Dave Watson got up at the far post, and England are two goals to nil in the lead. And again, it was a Brooking corner. The Union Jacks being waved. And they've all come this season, strangely enough. Well, that's a tremendous breathing space now for England. The second goal, so important, here's Brooking. Koppel. Oh, he's taken the 
England have scored two in a minute. And I think that should just about see off Bulgaria. Og så er den der et strålende mål af Preben Elkjær på den perfekte aflevering fra Claus Nørgaard. Morten Olsen og Preben Elkjær igen. Fantastisk godt mål her, Preben Elkjær. Og perfekt spillet af Morten Olsen. Der er spifald mod det danske hold for det gode spil. Underholdende spil. Der er ikke offside. Og en Åh, et dejligt mål her, Adam Simonsen. Spillet 19 minutter. Den dobbelte målscore fra en Elkjær selv med til at lægge op til dette mål. Så er Lerby. Frank Andersen. Ja, og der er den igen. Og det elker en gang til. Preben elker til 4-0. Det er sådan, at den giver som byt af Joy Jordan. Det går meget vigtigt, fordi det er en af de forhold til rytme. Vi skal se på ralenti. Det byt af avancerende af Manchester er meget vigtigt, 39. minut. Un but deviné de qui De Kenny Daglish et tout seul, du pied gauche. Écosse 2, Norvège 0. Il aura un but encore avant la mi-temps. Il sera l'œuvre de John Robertson, l'ailier de Nottingham. Regardez. Voilà, et entre les gens, un fortuné gardien, ça marque, ça dans une carrière, dans un match international. Il y avait un doute, on se disait qu'il va peut-être en jeu, mais un joueur norvégien avait remis Robert. Et puis 54e minute, un corner de ce même Robertson et un but de McQueen. Un but typiquement britannique, que nous allons revoir. Petsai is there, the big tall number five. Played wide here though for Baumeister. And a beautiful header there by Petsai. A magnificent Austrian goal. Putting him into the lead with 18 gone. Petsai. Right again, Jürgen outside him. A little space here for him to exploit for himself though, but Keegan was there. It comes to Yara, the little ball pass through there. And that's the second goal, scored that time by Belzel. And Austria are 2 in the lead. Number seven, Belzel, the scorer. So now Koppel. Wilkins, the need to pull something back fairly quickly. And Koppel with a chance, but he stumbled when it looked as though it might be on. He's got it across in there. Keegan! And England have struck back at once. And Kevin Keegan has scored the goal that's done it. What a leap by Keegan, and what good work by Steve Koppel as well. Kreutz, who's really been a star this first half for Austria. And here come the Austrians again. Crossing once more. And a goal! And uh, Veltzel has done it again. To make it 3-1, a superb individual goal. Just when it seemed that England had recovered from being two down and were truly right back in the fight. Veltzel, the number seven. Thank you, Peter Shilton. It's uh, Peter Barnes now on the ball for England. Cross coming in on the far side, and the ball falling for Keegan. Can he get the shot in? He can. And can Koppel get a shot in? And he can, and he scored. And England are really right back in it now with that goal by Steve Koppel after a good shot by Keegan that wasn't held by the keeper. 
exactly the tonic England required so early in the second half is Vicky Mills Bill Thompson Wilkins played for Brooklyn played in for Trevor Francis now looking to get the cross in played it instead for Koppel and now for Barnes didn't get a shot in but Wilkins has and it's 3-3 Beautifully made England goal. Ray Wilkins, the scorer, with a really blinding right foot shot. Something that may have happened off the ball as Zara curls in the free kick. Oh, and a beautiful goal. Petsai has done it again. What? So... 4-3 for Austria. And the man who scored the first goal, that big defender, Petsai, 